going to start off talking about eating right for your blood type. Why is this important? Why is this important? Eating right for your blood type is important because your food and your blood creates a chemical reaction called lectins. Lectins in the body is what causes autoimmune disease. Lectin inside of your body causes leaky gut. Lectins, it's causing your high blood pressure because your blood and the food that you are eating is creating a chemical reaction. But I don't know my blood type. How do you discover this? First of all, you go on the top of the screen, you'll see Amazon. Head over to Amazon. The Eldon at Home Kit. E L D O N at Home Kit. It's very inexpensive. You prick your finger in the privacy of your home. You find out your blood type. Why is this important? Because the food that you are eating is creating a chemical reaction with your blood. This is why people are sick. They're constantly eating inflammatory foods. This is why people have holes in their gut. They cause the leaky gut. This is why people are weakened immune systems. Same thing. You name it, this is why. Gout, this is why. Alopecia hair falling out, this is why. Stroke, this is why. Thyroid, this is why. You getting the concept? Your blood and the food that you're eating is creating a chemical reaction called lectins. It is so important for you to know your blood type. This is why you go to Amazon first. That's where you start, Amazon. Or you could go to the doctor, they're gonna charge you five times the amount of that kit that's up there. But you could go to your doctor and ask them for your blood type, even though they know your blood type. They've been knowing your blood type since you was a baby, but they don't constantly let you know what it is so you could avoid knowing this here information. Eating right for your blood type removes these lectins. It dissolves this inflammation. It get rid of the parasites. It gives you the beneficial bacteria that you need in the gut. It increases your biome, microbiome diversity. You see where I'm going? That's the opposite of what happens when you're not eating for your blood type. You get inflamed, you lead to ascetic body. When you eat for your blood type, you get in balance. Equals pH balance, potential hydrogen. Your life force comes back. Your blood is not no longer thick, tacky, toxic. Hence, high blood pressure. I'm old, but I just don't want to eat meat. That's perfectly fine. The meal plan still has highly beneficial foods on your blood, on your list for your blood. Take the meat out. O's, hey, how you doing, Darian? O's benefit from meat and vegetables. O's only really have 10 highly beneficial fruits, I mean vegetables, on their meal plan because some fruits are acidic. O's already have the amount of hydrochloric acid necessary to break down your food. As an O, if you don't like eating meat, that's perfectly fine. I'm a B, I don't like eating meat. But everything else on that blood, that plan you need to know because you could become a vegan and any blood type. But vegans don't know the highly beneficial foods for their blood type and they suffer. They just think, oh, I'm going to eat fruits, all of the fruits. I'm going to eat all of the vegetables. No, 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 not according to your blood type because your blood creates a chemical reaction with everything that you put up in your mouth. All of your food, all of your nuts, all of your seeds. Some are for you and some are not. When you know this and you bob and weave through the stuff that's not energetically on your blood type frequency, you thrive. You don't know this, you end up with sickness and disease in your body. Okay? Hey, Kate Gates. Hey, um, Melon. Is that Mel? Hey, Mel. Thank you for being here. So, Melinda, hello, hello. Thank you for being here. So here we go. The first step is Amazon. Now you know your blood type. The next step is going to my website, www.saltoftheearthpub is underlined.org. The link is in my bio. You could either go there on, the, on your own Chrome or you just click on my bio and be directed there. The most beneficial plan will be the bundle that I just recently created. I put it to get put it together for you all because people was asking me on Friday. The
the blood type bundle. Hey, hey God, it's 11. Thank you for being here. The blood type bundle. The reason why it's the most valuable is because you can start detoxing your body all you want to. You can start detoxing with sustained detox. I make that. It's on the screen. The alchemist, you could do all of that if you want to. But if you go detox and you sit up there and eat foods that's highly unbeneficial for you, that's causing your lectins, that's causing your inflammation, you still not, you still not benefiting. You didn't learn the lesson. So the most valuable thing is for you to learn the lesson and get the blood type bundle because within the bundle, you're going to know all the foods that you need to be avoiding. Then you're going to know all the foods that are beneficial for your blood type. You're going to have a cheat uh, code for your blood type. Yes, there are foods in the physical reality based upon your blood that will shrink your stomach for you. That will shrink and draw in your skin for you. That will heal your skin for you. That you don't have to go to the gym and constantly be working out. You, you can use your food as your medicine. You ever heard of that? Not only is it medicine, but it'll it'll make it help you lose the weight. It's certain foods, certain drinks, certain nuts, certain seeds, certain vegetables, certain meats, certain tea, certain beverages that some people know about and others don't. Some of them stumble upon it. You ever seen two people that went on a journey of weight loss? One person's skin tightened up and the other person's skin sagged. It sagged. They had to go get theirs cut off. Why is that? Because based upon blood type, that person that had that saggy skin was not eating food beneficial for their blood type. They lost the weight. They lost the weight. They picked up the information along the way and, and it left them with saggy skin that they didn't know what to do with. When there are foods that you could eat that are shrinking your skin, shrink your stomach. Just like your blood, how I'm talking about your blood having memory, guess what? Your skin has memory too. Your stomach has memory too. And it knows how to retract and go back to its original size when you stop consuming the foods that are destroying your body. So the, the most valuable thing is going to be the bundle. The blood type bundle comes with a seven day meal plan. In the meal plan, it comes with highly beneficial herbs, meat, seafoods, if you choose to, fruits, vegetables, condiments, beans, dairy, every category for your blood type that is highly beneficial for you. The seven day meal plan starts with breakfast, fruit snack, lunch, dinner, herbal teas, the oils, the flowers, the shake season, everything that you need examples for seven days. It's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. So you start with going to the website, clicking on the blood type bundle and now you have everything that you need for your blood type i also offer a power within transformation course that's over 10 years of research that i've done as a herbalist as healing my body in the course you'll see me at my lightest weight because when i stopped eating meat and i went cold turkey on my journey the weight fell off of me instantly instantly but it was at that time in my journey, I was researching and learning about harmful ingredients. That's what I teach on the Power Within Transformation course. It's how to shop for groceries. It's how to read for, and, and be aware on the lookout for harmful ingredients. Kind of like high fructose corn syrup. That's a big major one right now. High fructose corn syrup tricks your brain into thinking that you're hungry when you're really full. Malt dextrin and dextrose, things like that. You need the MSG and what it really is doing to you. Once you get educated as to what these things are doing to you, these dyes and things that's doing to your hormones, it's doing to your body. When you educate yourself, that's knowledge of self. That's knowledge of self. Thank you. I appreciate that, Darren. Y'all tap the screen. Y'all tap the screen so we can get some more people up in the room. Thank you. I appreciate you. Moving on from the transformation course, we got the bundle of Sustained Detox. Sustained Detox is a bundle on my website also. Sustained Detox is a 30-day detox. If you detox in less than 30 days, you're not penetrating just yet. If you're detoxing and not using any of the bitters, you're not penetrating at a cellular level just yet. Sustained Detox is highly beneficial for all blood types. It's, it detoxes the body at a cellular level. 
along with the alchemist oil which is also a bundle on my website the alchemist oil is antifungal antiviral antiparasitic antimicrobial antibacterial it is the most world's most powerful antioxidant oregano and clove together in conjunction they get rid of parasites larva and the eggs that they lay parasites have life cycles y'all they lay egg and they try they lay eggs and they try to secrete especially if you're going in there trying to destroy them because they want to take over the host being you taking over your body this is why they sit inside of your gut and suck the nutrients suck the life the life force out of you to become the host if they succeed you're flatlining in the physical reality you get so ascetic and so malnutritious that you no longer exist in the physical reality because it was taking your life force from you once again why are we talking about this because your blood and the food that you eat create a chemical reaction just by eating the right types of food you can destroy parasites in your body you can get past the lipid coating of the virus because parasites build up a lipid coating to protect themselves so that you can't heal them they're really smart you think you think you think when the doctors say oh it gotta run its course when we're talking about viruses no no it ain't it ain't uh -uh, it ain't running its course to run up out of you no no it's building a little nook inside of your stomach to grow it's building a little lipid coating inside of that to grow because you probably already have a little bit of yeast up in there from the breads that are not beneficial for your blood type you probably got if you're blood type a you probably have a, a banana up in there you know maybe some oranges up in there you think you're doing good with your banana and your oranges but no it, it that creates mucus in your body blood type a if you have too many of them oranges that 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 contributes to your bacteria overgrowth so it's even it's even fruit like honeydew melon blood type a you you, you shouldn't be fooling with honeydew melon because of the mold content in it you secrete so much of or produce so much of mucus that your blood actually becomes thicker and tackier just by your blood type being a blood type a so when you eat meat you get swollen automatically you feel the inflammation automatically based upon your blood type you're not like a oh a oh they could eat their meat they could consume their meat blood type o and they have the acids that are actually break it up they have the highest heart hydrochloric acid that can break that can break up the food and so that's why they thrive when they eat meat but that's what i wanted to um let's see there we go that's what i wanted to show you all first because those are the common questions i had some questions over here thank y'all for tapping the screen my screen i appreciate y'all let me see thank you so much Wait, what was that question how did i start Oh, how did I learn about the blood type diet? Well, after years of being um, sick, first of all, after years of being sick on my own, I, I, I taught myself. I became a student about my body. After years of being an herbalist, after years of following my guru, who was a healer in New Orleans, Louisiana, I studied him. Hey, Purpose, thank you for being here. After years of that, I, after studying him for so many years, and learning how he was dealing with people before me. Not only was I studying him as a student, I became an herbalist on my own because I was so intrigued about the herbs and spices for the healing of the nations, or so to speak, like, right? And I used to go to Whole Food Store and sit up in a foyer. There's a Whole Food Store in North, on North Broad Street in New Orleans, Louisiana, where I am from. And I used to go there and I used to talk to the people with my guru and we would, you know, help them with their health issues. And I studied him and, <laughs> and how my body was responding to food. And there was one day that I decided, you know what, I don't want to listen to nobody else. Because you get all of this information, you know, just like y'all, you know, y'all done heard about keto diet, I'm sure. Y'all done heard about maybe Dr. Stavey, I'm sure. Y'all done heard about, you know, the local healers in your area, I'm sure. But you get all of this information as a student learning about yourself getting to know yourself but one day i decided you know what i don't i don't want to listen to nobody else i want to listen to me and how i feel so what i did before i even knew about the, this being a so-called diet well i would eat my food 
and I will lay down on my back. And I teach y'all to do this to, to get to know yourself. I lay down on my back. And then laying down on my back after I ate my food, I paid attention to how my body feel, you know, on a cellular level, how my the cells of my body was it responding because they're alive. And I always knew this. I knew I was conscious and knowing this. I was always attached to my my food. It was always either inflaming me or making me feel good. Being that I'm a bee blood type, other bees, y'all have this sensitivity too, this sensitivity to lectins or these chemicals. Everybody got it, but it's a heightened sense sensitivity to the bees because they're more balanced and being that we're balanced we feel that fluctuance of inflammation or inflammation subsiding so i would lay on my back and i would be and i would just feel this thing and i would know if something is organic or not but the interesting thing is that i begin to ask myself questions i don't want to be no teacher i mean no student no more i didn't want nobody teaching me nothing i had already received everything that i wanted to receive from outside sources and i asked my inner being through my thoughts to show me show me the perfect diet to me and this is how why i often tell you all to begin to ask through your habitual thinking yourself questions See, we want to ask our doctor. We want to go on to do what everybody, all other healers and all other people say to do. No, 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 no. You are hooked to infinite intelligence yourself. You're tapped in. Everybody has an innate ability to tap into source energy. So I begin to ask myself, show me. What does what, what, what does health, health and wellness look like to me? And lo and behold, I was led. I was led. Because you're God in physical form. God never asked itself a question that he or she don't already know the answer to. So I was led to the foods that would heal me. And the, the foods, the interesting thing about it is all the food that was healed me or make me feel better <laughs> were the ones for my blood type. And I wouldn't find this out until years later. But my inner being, this is why I teach mindfulness. Because I know that your inner being is talking to, it, to you. It talks to everybody. It's just whether or not you're going to listen to your inner being or not. Whether or not it's your season or you're ready. Because you set your alarm clock to, to decide when you go wake up to a higher sense of consciousness. Because everybody, you know, play the fool sometime. Everybody play the ignorance is bliss uh, part of the story at some times. And then they mature, you know. When I was a child, I spoke as a child, I behaved as a child. But when I became, I put away those childish things. And it must be, I would, I would say childishness is just thinking, oh, I only live once. No, you're here for something far greater than just living once and just having fun while you're here. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to die half, happy. I'm just here for, I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time is what they say. No, no, no. You're actually here for a long time. Yeah, you've actually been here for a long time for eons and eons. And you're really here to get to know yourself as a master creator, a manipulator of energy. And so what I realized with the food is that it was just me manipulating the energy as it pertained to my blood. Me huh, getting in alignment with the foods in the matrix that activated my dormant DNA in my blood. Yeah, that's me manipulating energy. And me at that time, not consuming the ones that didn't benefit me, that caused me inflammation. Yeah, it was me manipulating in, in energy because I manipulated the energy of myself, of my body, from sickness to wellness, from wearing glasses to no longer having to, from fluid feel bumps and acne and cyst things on my face to no longer having that issue no more, from being overweight and couldn't breathe to being at, at a, a weight for my size. I'm only 5'2 in a physical reality, so uh, when I was 162 pounds, I was a little bit overbearing for my knees, a little bit too much mucus on my chest. And I was just honestly just eating anything. And this is how I know the difference between sickness and wellness. This is how I know now <laughs> the foods to eat for my blood type. I know now the commonalities because I've researched and helped so many other people here. The commonality why people are, from other blood types are sick too. <laughs> because I've been there and I've been amongst them for a long time. I came up in church where all I dealt with then as a little girl were sick people that looked for a healing God. But they blamed, you know, the sickness and all these different things on the devil when even as a little girl, I knew it was something not that, that that was not the truth. I knew that they played a part in the story. We all play a part in our own story because we're our own operant power. So then I learned about mm, the fact that I was eating from my blood type the whole time. 
I was being led by my inner being to eat for my blood type and that's what made the difference for me. That's what consciously allowed me to wake up to more of my brain capacity that I now can operate from now. That allowed my dormant DNA to be expanded. That allowed me to get onto the healthy wellness side of my life and no longer have to play the game of life in the sickness mode. And so now it is my passion because this is what I've done with all of my life. I did early retirement in the effort to come here to help other people because I find this more rewarding in my life than building anything in transmission engineer ever was for me. This is this is this is the beautiful moment because being in a position to help somebody that was sick like I once was. It helps me lay down on a pillow at night and know that my day, that my living was not in vain, that my day was so purposeful. This is the very thing that I can do when nobody is watching. If they had zero people up there, I still be, I, I remember the day back in 2013. If you look at my YouTube channel, when I started, I was sitting up there talking to myself. Nobody was up in that room. And if you didn't, you didn't decide to come here today, I'll still be talking lights, camera, action. Because I know that I am the operant power. I know that what I'm saying works because it worked for me. I've saved my first, I've saved a lot of lives, but first I saved my own. <laughs> That's how I know. I stand behind everything that I say and I would never tell you anything based upon my, my perception just of me. I'm telling you things based upon what your blood is saying because your blood has memory and, then, and it remembers that of the original people. You know, like for the olds, for example, your blood has so much memory that it remembers that you're the first blood type and that you're the God, the Anunnaki type God that first walked on the face of the physical reality in this matrix. It remembers that. And so it don't remember no wheat that man made after the original people. <laughs> it don't remember that. That's why you get inflamed when you eat your wheat, your little pizza, your little muffins, your little pancakes and stuff. It don't remember that. It remember you being a meat eater. The hunter it remember a plethora of vegetables for you and so really vegetables and meat is still your diet till this day till to this day your blood gonna create a chemical reaction when you try to when you try to drink your beer your liquid wheat when you try to eat your um bread it's, it's gonna create a chemical reaction when you go out to try to get the the, the corn that's genetically modified oh yeah your blood gonna create a chemical reaction called lectins and you're going to suffer with ulcers. You're going to suffer with thyroid issues just based upon your blood. I, I mean, you, you, they, they, people be thinking, oh, my God, you, how do you know? I mean, it's, it's based upon your blood. It just, it's, just, just, it's just what happened. We all have the, our little strengths and weaknesses in life, right? <laughs> just like the little cartoon that I like to watch, the little avatar. Anybody watch avatar? I love that little cartoon. It's so conscious. You know, you, how you have the airbender, you, but the, the, the thing about the cartoon is that you have to learn all the elements, okay? And that's how it pertains to real life. You got to learn all your strengths and weaknesses and become one with them because you are God walking around here in the physical reality. You got to learn your strength and weakness as it pertains to the food that you put in your mouth too, because some of them will knock you out like a light. Some of them will have you in hospital, like a little lab rat. Doctor saying, oh, I guess we'll try this one on him. Meanwhile, if you went home and ate for your blood type, you wouldn't have to be up in there. <laughs> and these are the things that I know. It happens to people every day. Thank y'all for tapping the screen. Thank y'all for being here. So like I said, my name is God is just being. I help people save their life by eating for their blood type. <laughs> that's, 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 that's how I found out my inner being. My inner being, which is tapped into all knowing. You have one too. Infinite intelligence. It showed me. It talks to me. And, and it works through me, <laughs> through my dreams and the vision of at night when man sleeps in slumber. You remember that text in the biblical text? It's true. When man sleeps in slumbers, God gives them their orders and their instructions. Everything on my website comes came to me from a dream and a vision of the night. All of my products that I created, all of them, <laughs> the ingredients of all of them came to me because I'm just tapped into my inner being and, and you are too. Some of us just have ears that we cannot hear because we're at low frequency of being so sick and so ascetic and so and so dumbed down to looking at only the physical, which is only 0.01% of all there is. Well, there's a whole 99.999% in, in the spiritual essence where we all stem from. 
and we all have that part that we I will call it my inner being but it's the larger part of you that's the that you can't see but it exists it's the very thing that you be talking to when you when you hear that something said kind of voice yeah that that something said kind of voice it knows everything about you it knows about your health in the physical it knows about whether or not you're in alignment it knows all of your little secrets yeah, because it's hooked on to something called the superconscious, or what you would probably call God. See, we're really just energy, frequency, and vibration, and I'm really just teaching you how to manipulate energy on this here. But some people look at it as if it's, I'm teaching something physical because that could, that's the only two eyes that they might at this time could only see true. But I'm teaching you how to get to know yourself, 100% of yourself, not just your, your physical 0 0.01, if you could hear that. If you could hear that right now from where you are so hello hello hey how you doing moon one thank you for being here i'm b2 so bees are really balanced we're the most balanced of all of the blood types and we can really escape sickness and disease easily because we can eat from so many different diverse um food groups right we could eat dairy you know milk and cheese even though i don't really like to consume those things it's a preference for me because of how i set up my 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 subconscious mind but we could eat meat we could eat seafood bees our thing is chicken our thing is chicken corn tomatoes and um condiments and oils the wrong kind of oils will destroy our digestive system so here we go. This is the Elden at home kit. One of the, it's like the envelope that the um, Elden comes in. It's a card inside of here. And inside of the kit itself, you'll get a needle to prick your ring finger. You prick your ring finger to find out your blood type on a on the card. And you stir it around with a little water. You have your instructions in the card. It's available on Amazon. Elden, E-L-D-O-N. When well, you get that though, they give you this little code where you can look at what's on your card and compare it to this here. So for example, if your blood, the plasma in your blood forms this here um, color, like the first row right here, that looks like four copper pennies, then you'll be a uh, old negative blood type. And the old negative blood type is the Anunnaki type of blood, the original blood type. You know, we, we've tainted our blood and, and recreating different different groups of people, you know, like, you know, the black, it started with the black, um, but we got, you know, the Asians, we got the Mexicans, and we got, you know, everything in between black and white, right? And so, but we all stem from God. We all stem from this darkness, this darkness that was on the face of the deep, if you want to call it carbon, this melanin. And so within our times of repopulating this matrix, this world, we just grafted them all into different blood types. But we all started off, the people, the human people started off as the O's. <laughs> the O's. And so I like to I like to say there's some O's in this house, you know? That you know that Carly B song? There's some O's in this house. There's some O's in this house. And I like to believe that we are all, in a sense of what I'm saying here, we're all God in physical form. It is to my knowing that we are. But some of us don't give ourselves that, 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 that credit of being any type of God or having any type of power. But I, I beg to differ with you. You are very powerful. Even your blood is powerful. The Christ conscious one is you. Your blood, you know how people be saying, oh, by the blood of Jesus, well, baby, guess what? your blood has power too everything that we be trying to give outside sources really be talking about us that biblical text is about us one god one faith one baptism you hear me right so let me know who's up in the room and we'll start you are so welcome right to the sun thank you for being here let me know who all is up in the room today and we'll get started talking about your particular blood type do we have any O's? Do we have some A's? Do we have some B's? Y'all tap the screen. I got time now since I'm back <laughs> from shipping my orders and stuff. Y'all tap the screen. Let me know who up in here. Let me know what questions you have. But don't forget your blood, whether you stay here or not, know this one thing. Your blood has memory. Your blood is creating a chemical reaction with everything that you put up in here. Either that reaction going to be negative or positive. 
But because you are a manipulator of energy, everything about you is created in the negative or, or positive. Because you decided to play this game called life, everything about you going to be a negative or positive. You could not believe in anything that I'm saying to you. You could not believe in any of these laws. But guess what? There's also a law of gravity. When you stand up, you're not going to float. So surely there is a law of polarity saying that all things are two sides. Surely you are, all, you are experienced either positive or negative when you eat. Now you don't have to believe in that. That's up to you. You could go away and you could go back into the ignorance of bliss of life until you get so inflamed that you're ascetic to have a dis ease and disharmony. But today is the day that you came here and you heard about it and you ain't gonna be able to turn back around. You'll see me again. You can leave today, but you'll be back is what I'm saying to you because you just opened up your mind. You asked a question. That's why you showed up to this live. You ask a question, and because when you ask a question, ask and you shall receive, that's the only reason why you're seeing me today. So if you don't take heed today, you're going to be back, and it might be tomorrow. It might be when you get your little, little butt hurt a little bit more with sickness and disease. But I'm going to tell you before you go, like my grandma used to tell me when I was a little girl and I wouldn't listen to what she said. A hard head makes a soft ass. Okay? Now you can go ahead on about your day if you're going to leave the live. And I'll, I'll be here, if not for the others. So let's see what we got and who we're talking about today. Let's see. How does this impact you with traveling? That's a question that I have. You just, it doesn't impact you at all. It's just a lifestyle. How does what you're eating right now impact you with traveling right now? Do you, you eat before you travel, huh? If that's what you're asking me. You just know the foods that don't cause you inflammation and you abide by them and if you fall off for some reason you get back on there so you don't be too inflamed because your inflammation equals ascetic-ness if you're too ascetic you end up with cancer if you're too too ascetic even more than cancer you might be just and had chemo which doctors give you acids to try to help you with an already ascetic body which really makes no common sense but common sense isn't really common but if you still down there you stay down there well zero is acidosis and you're no longer here in the physical reality let's see let's see what we got okay amen i'm looking for learning about beneficial foods i'm oh okay oh negative so we got some o's up in here okay um wow yeah the link is in my bio the most valuable i'm gonna show this and then we're gonna go start with the um with the um talking about maybe i guess with the o's I'm going to show this one more time for the people that's just coming in. The link is in my bio. The first things first, find out your blood type. It's available on Amazon. Amazon, it's called Elden at Home Kit. You can do it at home. You can figure out what your blood type is at home. The next step is going to my website, saltoftheearthpub.org. Saltoftheearthpub.org. And the most valuable product that I have is gonna be the blood type bundle. The blood type bundle comes with everything you see on that list. The blood type bundle comes with a seven day meal plan with highly beneficial foods for your blood type. The blood type bundle comes with the at home herbal potion. A herbal potion for your blood type that's gonna kill parasites and any pathogens in your digestive system. If you're sick, use your herbal potion. If you didn't got too acidic, use your herbal potion. Why are we using this herbal potion? Because it's destroying the thing that's taking your nutrients from you, which is most likely pathogens and parasites, right? And it's giving you life. The herbal potion has a highly beneficial oil for your blood type. Oil is the thing that'll get past the lipid coating on the viruses, on, on the pathogens, on the parasites, to burst through them then your herbs that you have in your herbal potion is going to kill them going to expel them out of your body the blood type bundle not only comes with that but it comes with a list of beneficial foods all your highly beneficial foods not the ones that I, i'm telling you because they taste good no 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 the highly beneficial foods because your blood has memory and it remembers those foods those are the foods that's going to put out the fire those are the foods that's going to be anti-inflammatory those are the foods that's going to get rid of pathogens and help you expel waste in your large and small intestines. Those are the foods that's going to heal your liver and kidneys, your leaky gut. Your highly beneficial food list plus the foods to avoid is on the blood type bundle. Where do you find this? 
on my website, saltoftheearthpub.org. Not only that, if you overweight because you have been so inflamed and you have stretched your stomach out of proportion with the wheat, with the dairy, by being on a high for so long because you've been on high fructose corn syrup, well, you got a weight loss cheat code. What is that? What is a weight loss cheat code? Well, it's not only the foods that's highly beneficial for your blood type, but it's also the foods that's highly beneficial for your blood type that's gonna increase your di microbiome diversity, the foods that's gonna help you instantly lose weight, that's gonna tighten your skin back up, that's gonna tighten or shrink your stomach back to its regular um, size, and the foods that you should be eating or on that list. The foods, the drinks, the nuts, the seeds, the fruits, the vegetables that are highly beneficial based upon your blood, which has memory of them being highly beneficial for you. I also have on my website, the Power Within Transformation course. That's 18 how-to videos, how to chop for harmful ingredients, how to cleanse your organs, how to lose weight, how to manifest. Because on the how-to videos, I'm talking to you physically and spiritually. Because you can't just do one side of it. You got to do both sides of it to totally be healed. The last thing that I have that's a bundle is the Sustained Detox Slash Alchemist Oil Bundle. And that alchemist oil is the world's most powerful antioxidant. They used to use those two ingredients back in the day, but it's been forgotten about. And that is clove and oregano. Oregano used to be used back in the day for parasites and virus and everything, right? Clove has always been used in dentistry for healing your gums and, and toothaches and pain together. They're the world's most powerful antioxidants. They're antifungal, antibacterial, antimicrobial, antiviral, antiparasitic. This is what the sustained detox looks like available on my website, that particular bundle. This is a 30 day detox, highly beneficial for all blood types. And this is the alchemist oil. This is my actual bottle of alchemist oil. You can oil pull with this. You can use this internally and externally. Oil pulling helps to get uh, mucus, drawn out of your tonsils, out of your sinus cavity, out of your upper extremity type areas, through your lymphatic system. When you put five drops of the alchemist oil mixed with a carrier oil, you're pulling toxins forward. This get rid of that yeast or that thrash or thrush on your tongue. This will get rid of bad breath, yellow stained teeth by oil pulling. The alchemist oil can be used to clean your food, your meat with if you're still a meat eater, to get rid of parasites and stuff in your body and also by cleaning your meat and getting rid of them in the raw form on your meat. It could be used by putting with a carrier oil and putting it on your chest if you're blood type A and you carry a lot of mucus on your chest. The alchemist oil is also needed in your uh, herbal potion. It's also needed in that herbal potion because it has the power pack punch to kill parasites, the eggs that they secrete when you're trying to expel them. It is a parasite cleanser as well. All right, so that's what I have available for those of you who are new here. Uh, so do I ask my doctor or um, physician to get my blood type? You could ask them if they, if they know it and they're gonna give it to you. You could ask them. But if they start beating you around the bush and be like, oh, we don't have that. We're going to have to run more tests and that'll be such and such a dollar that you might as well go to Amazon and just get it for really inexpensive. I don't like to say numbers because they'll take my video down. But one um, Elden kit is less than this amount for one person. Okay. So it's really inexpensive, but it'll be five times this amount at the doctor's office. And they're going to take way more. Elden at home kid is going to be a prick of a ring finger. At the doctor's office, you're going to probably be tired for the rest of the day because you're going to be and took all of your blood out. They want to take all kind of blood so they can filter that blood and give it to other people. So, hey, it's up to you, though. Um, They should have made weed. They should not have made weed. That's what you're trying to say, lady? Yeah. Hey, Crystal. Y'all got to check out Goddess uh, Crystal Page. She does um card readings, y'all. She's... She, I connected with her once before. She's really a good, good, beautiful soul. 
your entire spirit is so soothing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's her energy. I love it. Oh, thank you, babe. Thanks. Thanks for noticing. Let's see. Me too. Have you tried eating this way? Mm. Um, Y'all talking to each other? What's good for O? Okay, let's talk about O. It makes a week tomorrow since I've been eating for my blood type. Look at you. Yeah, babe. That's amazing. But I can't figure out stuff to me. Oh, oh, y'all talking to each other. I'm sorry. I'm all in y'all little conversations. I'm not an O, but I want to uh, sign that, sing that song. Oh, <laughs> you want to sing that song? There's some O's in this house. There's some O's in this house. Well, I got some O's in this house, so I'll be singing it all the time. Yeah, I like it. I like that. Um, A in the house. Oh, the A up in the house, too. Your first time all welcome. Oh, look at your name. We share the same name. Miss Williams. Atlanta checking in. Be positive. Look at y'all. Okay, first time. Oh, yes. North Carolina. Oh, we got some bees up in here. Okay, we got O's and a lot of bees. We'll do that today. Doris is here. I'm type O and a diabetic. Yeah, diabetic. That has everything to do with your diet. Even the word diet is in there. It's about the things that you're putting up in there. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, so y'all still talking to each other. Y'all just talking B. Okay, I see one A. Look at A. Look at A. She born is an A. Okay, so y'all still talking to each other. I'm not reading y'all comment no more. Because I don't think y'all talking to me. Let me get down. Okay, blood type O. Do I have to eat meat? Nope. You can and should because of that high hydrochloric acid. Most of y'all, those, y'all be, I think it'd be more like a spiritual journey. Yeah, I don't want to eat meat. You know, I'm getting spiritual. And a lot of people telling you, you know, the woke, you know, community telling you, yeah, you got to get away from all the meat. But it is the old that I have seen throughout the countless years. They always come back. They always come back to meat. They have all this hydrochloric acid, but you... What you gonna do? Smother it with um with a whole bunch of vegetables? I mean, if it works, but I've seen so many O's come back. Oh, and you from Louisiana? I guess I'm the only A. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Uh, I think I saw one one of them, one other A. A A need to be up in here because A consume a lot of mucus, right? So let's get started, y'all. Let's see where we at. Five thousand likes. Let's get both pages up to six thousand likes. That, that's a couple of taps on the screen. It's offering time. It's offering time. Y'all tap the screen. I like to call it offering time. That's when you give back because I'm giving to you. So we're about to start. We're about to get started right quick at 6,000. Oh, we there. We there. This other page not there. We had 5.4. We had 5.4 over here on the gutters. Just be healthy. <laughs> Yay. We almost there. 5.5. All right, 5.6, we're getting at 6,000. Let me drink me some water before I get started. We're about to start talking about the O's. The O's. We at 5.9, we almost there. O's, any O's with thyroid issues? Any O's with he peptic ulcers? Those are the common things for the O's. Any O's that have acid reflux? Thank you. I can vouch that as that A's have mucus. My lungs are struggling right now. Four minutes just for them. Yep. Constipation. O's. Yes, thyroid issues. Okay. Acid reflux. You see what I mean here? Okay. Hello. Hey, how you doing, fearless one? Just a fluffy stomach. <laughs> okay. And I say that because it is my knowing. I mean, I've dealt with these people. And you know what? It's, it's, it's interesting after you've dealt with these type of people for so long. You can see the commonality even in personalities. O's are really, um, they're like assertive in their natural state of being. They're kind of like assertive people. They're, they're like, they don't have to do anything to get attention. It's like the energy of their aura demands or commands attention. They can be looked upon by others, not me. It's like a threat, like, right? They get, other people might get intimidated by them, right? That's their God frequency. That's their God type energy. Oh my God, look up this Lilith. Thank you for passing through, baby. I admire you so much. Thank you for being here. 
And so the O's are like the Anunnaki God type bloodline, and this is why this is. And <laughs> but I'd like to add this in. I'm saying God bless you and congratulations to you who just purchased the meal plan for your uh, blood type. And I'm saying this, and I mean this, you all can be very, very cocky. And I know this to be true because I live with old. <laughs> but that's your God kind of energy. And I'm not being ugly. Stay, look at this, girl, stay out of my life. I could read you, and I don't even know you like that, side. <laughs> it's like they're cocky individuals. And a lot of people feel intimidated or threatened by them. But that's just simply because those people, they don't know themselves just yet. Now that's the personality of an O. And then physically as an O, when you're in your natural, lean, physically fit state of being, I ain't talking about the O that's probably low frequency because they're sick right now. But when you're physically in fit and you're thriving, you love to work out. You love physical activity, strength and endurance. You love to go to the gym. You that person that's wilding out at the gym, making a, a A or a B like me, look at you like, will you please get down and sit down because it's something that I can't do or, or I don't have really the physical strength and endurance to do it. I could, I could build up to that, but you naturally jumping up. You know, you ever seen them little fitness videos on TikTok where the, somebody come up in there and just climb on the little things on the wall and do uh, pull-ups or whatever and then they leave and everybody just turned around looking at them and feeling like they need to just go home that was an old that did that that was one of the gods that just came through and did that because at their best when they're physically uh, fit and lean and eating for their blood type they could just run through it's like they are animal they just could run through and just you just sit there and you just watch them roar like right <laughs> Yeah, okay, that part ain't you. You don't like to sweat. But the, the athletic O's, the athletic O's, I just know them. I know them in the gym all the time. Look, that little one right there. <laughs> yeah. So when you eat for your blood type, your blood and the food that you're eating, creating a chemical reaction, give you this strength and endurance as an O. Your hydrochloric acid is so plentiful. This is why you can eat all of the meat that you choose to, to you know that's highly beneficial for you of course and your hydrochloric acid is going to break it down but when you stumble and fall is because of one of these here reasons right here and i'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to you right quick as far as o, as far as the o is concerned your inflammation and your um digestive is, issues are triggered with wheat corn cow's milk kidney beans, lentils, bacon, navy beans, potatoes, peanut oil, and corn. So this is what's triggering your inflammation, those type of foods, right? The, these are the foods that's helping to increase that bacteria in your gut. We already know that the wheat triggers your inflammation, but then you get bacteria overgrowth this is when you're when they talk about like your beneficial bacteria in your gut the good guys gotta outweigh the bad guys well for you cow, cow's milk corn potatoes rhubarb and oranges do that for you and so so this is why this is so important because listen i just said oranges you would think everybody should be able to get oranges because eat oranges because wait a minute oranges that's vitamin c no for blood type o oranges sit there in their gut where they drink their orange juice and it produces a plethora of bacteria well why is that because they have hydrochloric acid already just like apple cider vinegar they don't need no apple cider vinegar they don't need no orange juice this leads to why there are many fruit that o's cannot tolerate because some fruit are acidic no potatoes no potatoes <laughs> and so okay that's a great question cooking O negative and O positive i'm talking to you the negative and the positive is one blood type just has been a little bit more tainted than the other the original gonna be the O negative that's the rarest but the positive that has been a little bit tainted but we talk um, as far as diet is concerned you ain't got to worry about negative or positive. You fit in with your letter over here. The only time you got to worry about negative or positive is if um, you're having a baby and 
you trying to mix and match with other people you know the negative and positive has to do with a the uh, a protein in the red blood on the red blood cells but we we that doesn't that's not neither here or there on this particular video so you just are old i'm talking to olds positive and negative listen up cow's milk corn potatoes rhubarb and oranges bacteria overgrowth so if you don't leave your potatoes alone, because I'm, I'm saying this because a lot of the olds like to be physically strained and go to the gym, and, you know, they got to eat their potatoes. A lot of them say, oh, I got to get my carbs. Mm -mm. Not the potato kind. Consider yams instead, but not the potato kind, because potatoes going to sit up in, the, in your gut and it's going to grow. And then you're going to have a bunch of fungus and yeast overgrowth inside of your gut. You mix that up with some potatoes, like, okay, so let's talk about a burger then. Because we already know that wheat is bread and your biscuits and your, you know, and your little wraps and things like that. But just talk, just thinking about an O, eating a burger with french fries on the side, and God forbid they fry their burger in peanut oil and they... <laughs> They had some orange juice. Let's just throw in that orange juice just because. Now they're tired. What's happening to them now that they're tired because they're inflamed? Because when you get inflammation, you start getting tired, right? What's happening to them? Exactly. Lord have mercy. That's a recipe for a disaster, right? Sounds like some of you already know this as an O. So now you want to lay down. Why are you laying down though? I want you to understand. What, does anybody know why you laying down? Somebody tell me, why Why would an old lay down after they have a burger with french fries and then they happen to drink some orange juice on the side? What's, what's happening to the old? I need, I need somebody, it, does anybody know? They're full, okay, they're full, okay. Fullness is supposed to make you tired though, it won't lay down. To see how their body feels, okay. I'm always tired, acid reflux. Okay, this is, this is, this is non-beneficial. There we go. There you go. Gut biome destruction. Yes. Yes. Body going into overtime digesting. Yes. All the energy being used to break down that food. System is inflamed. That's it. Not, yes. So when you, when an old eat like that, and that's just like a, the typical drive through seemingly for like a, a American. But when an O eat that, the O is immediately inflamed. And so inflammation equals acids. So you get tired because there's acids in your body now. The acids are tearing you up. Acids destroy and break down. So they're inflamed from the wheat. The wheat is tearing down their digestive system. It's tearing, ripping them up, right? Acids acids so when your body gets acidic you could have been happy oh you could have been about to go to the gym because you like to work out you're physically fit and you just ready to tackle the world all of a sudden somebody offers you that you eat that and now you don't want to go to the gym no more because your serotonin and dopamine was up here but because you transform that energy into something negative instead of positive and your blood created a chemical reaction when you ate that thing, your blood created a chemical reaction with your food, serotonin gone now. Dopamine gone now. So serotonin is the feel, in, in, these are your feel good hormones. They're gone, you don't feel good no more. You just feel tired. You just feel inflamed because you are on fire. You are, congratulations, you are ascetic now. So let's go back. All you ate was a burger. <laughs> You ate a burger, you drank some orange juice, and you just had potatoes. This, the, the, let's take out now the things that wasn't beneficial, and I'm going to show you your diet. That's your diet. The oranges wasn't beneficial because that produces um, the yeast and bacteria in your gut. The, the, the meat and, and maybe those vegetables that was on there, they, they, didn't really, they didn't really mess with you. The meat and those vegetables that was on there, they didn't really mess with you. It was that bread. So you got to pull that bread off. You got to pull that bread off. 
And then french fries that was on the side, oh no, you can't have them. You got to consider maybe some yams instead. So what are you left with? What are you left with on your sandwich now? What are you left with to eat? That's your diet. Does anybody know what's left after, after we done took that off? And that explains the old diet right there. What's left? What's left? The beef. The beef actually increases the serotonin for the for the um O's. The lettuce. And it don't have to necessarily be no no regular iceberg lettuce. There could have been some dandelion on there. There could have been some kale on there. There could have been some Swiss card on cord on there. Chard. They say chard. I say cord. Swiss chard on there. Beneficial vegetables and meat is what you left with. That wouldn't have inflamed you though. That wouldn't have inflamed you. That would have made you be able to go to the gym and jump up and down and do everything up in the gym and, and they make everybody look shame because you you the God like that there. <laughs> okay. I heard some people up in here with thyroid issues. I'm going to give it to you on this live. Y'all still up in here? That's why lettuce wrap burgers don't make me sleepy. Bingo. Bingo. You got to learn how to manipulate the energy. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody up in here with thyroid issues? I'm about to give you what you need for your thyroid issue. If you're here, if not, we can keep going. Because that's what we're going on next. Nobody? Nobody don't have thyroid issues? Coach Renee. Oh, hey. I didn't know you did. That was that. I, 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 hypo. Okay. Hyper or hypo. Thyroid? Okay. Relentless doesn't. I'm happy for you. Yes. But I'm not old. Okay. Well, some of these. Some of these are going to go across the board. And I'm, I'm going to mention what, what's going across the board here. You know what? All of these, all of these, all of these going to go across the board because actually these all are beneficial for all food groups. So listen up, even if you're not an old, you just made me think about that. Thyroid issues. Now this don't go across the board. This part don't. For the O's, the things that's um, leading to your thyroid, increasing the infant, the, um, misinterpretation or the thyroid impaired thyroid function is going to be cabbage no cabbage for you let it go brussels sprouts let it go let it go not for you cauliflower and mustard greens let that go let that go i ordered a meal plan but my email was wrong how can i change it send me an email with your order number my email address is sort of the earth pub at gmail.com Email me with your order number and tell me, well, I'll know the correct email address that you're sending it from and I'll send it there. But just send me an email to remind me and then when I get off of here, I'll send you that link. Okay? So those are the things that you shouldn't consume. Just for the old. That part right there was just for the old. Don't consume those things because it's leading to your thyroid issue. Okay? But here's what you should do. And this is highly beneficial for all blood types. All right. And I had to let all that go. Yeah, because it's leading to the thyroid issue. This is what I want you to do. If you have thyroid issues, this is coming from somebody that healed themselves from thyroid issue. For thyroid issues, you need magnesium. Magnesium is needed in every organ in the body. Actually, you need magnesium. So you need to be eating the vegetables on your meal plan, O's. The highly beneficial vegetables that come with the blood type bundle, you need to be eating them. You need to fall in love. Some of y'all don't like some of them, but find one that you love and just say, okay, I love this one. I'm going to eat this one damn near every day. You have to, because that's where you're going to get your magnesium from. I'm talking about plant-based magnesium. I ain't talking about no powder. Y'all always like to do a powder of everything. No. Plant-based vegetable. Because you need magnesium for that thyroid. Next thing up, you need iodine for that thyroid. Hey, beautiful. Hey, goddess. Thank you for being here. You need iodine. O's. Now, let me tell you something about iodine, a.k.a. sea vegetable, the kind that I'm telling you about right now. It is needed for every blood type. So if you on here and you're A or B or AB and you listening, ear hustling when nobody talking to you, <laughs> yeah, you need to eat vegetables too. 
I need magnesium and sea moss. Okay, lady. So I didn't say sea moss. Be the reason why is because I was about to say this year. They have so much of fake sea moss out there. And when the masses get their hand on stuff, I don't even like recommending sea moss no more because they have this soft sea moss going with this with this salt on there. They make a genetically modified sea moss. So I said go to, yeah, they do. Congratulations, whoever that was that purchased their meal plan. I feel so happy for you. I say go to sea vegetables. And when I say sea vegetables, I'm talking about your, your kelp granules. I'm talking about nori. These are the little wraps that they wrap up sushi with. And here's one thing right here in my cabinet, I'm gonna show you right quick, that you can just buy and use on your food to season your food with. To season your food with. Right here, let me show you this. Sea vegetables, simple as this. Kelp, organic kelp. You can get this here from Amazon. Y'all see this here? This is a good form of iodine. You use that? Good for you. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. We went over magnesium. Thank you for sharing that. That's another thing that um, I was about to say. Your salts, your proper salts. Anybody that's an O on here, you need the proper salt. Pink Himalaya salt is good. It's good. It's high in potassium. But if you are low on magnesium, which people with thyroid issues are low on, they need the proper gray salt, Celtic salt. It looks like this here. It's a color like this here. It's gray. It's not white. It's not white. It's like a light gray. Right? This here, salt, is high in magnesium. Pink Himalayan salt is good. High in potassium. But when you have thyroid issues, your magnesium is being stripped from you. So you need the salt that's high in magnesium, which is Celtic salt. Let me get the bag just in case you need to know, because you can get this here from Amazon. You can get this here from Amazon.com. And it looked like this here. If you've never seen it, you need salt with color. You need salt with color because color is representing that it has not been stripped of all of its minerals. See, if the words are backwards, it says light gray Celtic salt. This is the one that you need. Everybody that have um, thyroid issues, you need this in your life. If you have thyroid issues and you use white salt, it's time to throw that away. White salt has been stripped of all of its minerals. It's only left with sodium and chloride. Celtic salt has 80 plus minerals, one of which you need a lot of, called magnesium. Get you some Celtic salt in your life if you have thyroid issues, okay? So now, we're still on thyroid, we're still talking about the O's. Y'all tap the screen, I gotta tell you some other things that you need for your thyroid issues. Tap the screen. Let us get to um, 9,000 up in here. Tap the screen so I can help other people. Tap the screen. Tap the screen, y'all. Tap the screen. All right, thyroid issues. We talked about the salt. We talked about the iodine that you need. Natasha, hey. Hey, 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 we at 8,000. Y'all tap the screen. Y'all listening, right? Hello, hello, Michelle. What about salt and blood pressure? Blood, blood pressure gets high from white toxic salt, not from Celtic sea salt. Not from Celtic sea salt. Start low, start low, but it's not gonna increase your pressure. Salt detoxes, salt destroys mucus, the real kind of salt. The white kind of salt don't. It causes high blood pressure. Okay, we at ten thousand yet? No, we at eight point. We at nine. We at seven point seven over here. Y'all tap the screen. We're talking about thyroid issues with the oils. We talked about thyroid issues with the oils. We talked about their salt already. We talked about them needing iodine. The thyroid also needs selenium. That's what we're gonna talk about next when we get to ten thousand. <laughs> Mm 
First time and I'm enjoying your message. Perfect. Perfect welcome, Savage 61. Oh, thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the gifts. I got gifts? Wait a minute. I like getting gifts. Let me turn my thing on. Is it on? Is my thing on? Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. We had 10,000 yet? We had 10,000. Oh, we had 10,000 on the first page. Oh, God, it's just be healthy. We waiting on y'all with the 8,000. If you have thyroid issues, tap that screen with the 8,000.1 likes over there so I can tell you what everything you need. I'm giving to you. You give back to me. And that's what you get when you... I like that little song. When you give a gift. <laughs> that's a little um, uh, kiss sound I have. What we at? 8.4? Come on, y'all. 35 people over there. Hey, you. Over here. This is how you tap the screen. Just like that. Oh, thank you for the roses. Oh. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate you. Oh, my God. I'm constantly getting gifts over here. That's it. 8.6. <laughs> we almost at 10. 8.7. Erica. Mm, thank you. I love gifts. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you. When people give to you, you got to learn how to give back to them. It's an energy exchange, man. All right. We're at 8.9 over here. Yes. T. 8.9, we're at 9. Okay, we're at 9. All right, let me drink me some water. It's offering time. It's offering time. We're at 9.5, we're almost there. All right, we at 9.7. Okay, we almost there. So we talked about the iodine that the people with thyroid issues need. We talked about the magnesium that they need. Next us up is selenium. Selenium, okay, perfect. Thank you for giving as I give to you. So the next thing up is selenium. Selenium is needed for proper thyroid function too. Magnesium, iodine, and selenium. Where are we gonna get selenium from? Well, some blood types can get their selenium from Brazilian nuts. I'm not talking about the O's. Brazilian nut is high in selenium, but O's, you cannot have Brazilian nuts. So you need to consume walnuts instead. Walnuts. Walnuts has your source of selenium in it. Walnuts. 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 You remember these? These are for the O's. There's some O's in this house. And look, it's a little, it's an O. There's some O's in this house. There's some O's in this house. Certified gods. O's. Walnuts. So consuming your proper salt. Consuming your proper vegetables that's on the meal plan. Consuming walnuts. <laughs> Sad you're laughing at me. It's gonna help you. Consuming your iodine from your granules is going to help. All these, all four of them is going to help detox. Because thyroid issue has to do with the toxicity in your body. It's going to help you detox. So what helps you detox? Magnesium helps every organ in the body detox. That's why I told you you need the vegetables that's on that meal plan that are highly beneficial. Fall in love with a couple of them. So when you do eat a sandwich without your bread, you wrap it with lettuce or whatever, well, you don't have to do lettuce. You can wrap it with a highly beneficial vegetable that has a plethora of magnesium inside of it. Now you got your magnesium. Now your magnesium is detoxing your body, your organs in your body. You have your you have your iodine coming from your kelp. Iodine is needed in the for proper thyroid function, and iodine also detoxes the body. So you got two detoxes going, right? Third thing we talked about: Celtic sea salt, that gray salt with color that hasn't been stripped of all of its minerals. It's high in magnesium. You got some more magnesium. Not only that, 
It has silica in there, the cousin of carbon that helps to protect your melanin. Not only that, it has your electrolytes in there that's gonna give you energy in your soul. Not only that, it has over 80 plus minerals for your body in your salt now. Not only that, it's gonna help dissolve that mucus and that fungus up in there. Not only that, it's gonna increase the alkalinity of your body if you're ascetic. Not only that, it's gonna draw out parasites and toxins in your body. You get where I'm going here? So now you got three things going for you. Then you got your walnut for your uh, selenium. So walnut actually helps with brain function and cognitive thinking. Ordering now, there you go, Coach Rene. Walnut helps with brain function and cognitive thinking. Where my old's at that can't remember nothing? Where my old's at that keep on forgetting things and be like, oh man, something I was gonna say. No, I don't worry about it. Where my old's at that read a paragraph maybe two or three times because you forgot what you read and you gotta read that thing all over again? <laughs> Thank you for the gifts. Okay, there you go. There you go. Well, <laughs> well, there you go. Walnut. It doesn't matter if it's organic or not. Does it matter for walnut? No, not on that. See, we got to be mindful about wasting our money. The organic thing is a big scam, like, right? In, in certain aspects. When you're talking about a walnut like this here, like, I'm not about to play around with nobody and say, if they if they had two and 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 say okay this one's organic and this one not i'm gonna buy the the regular one i'm not gonna spend a dollar or two more for the organic one because it has a shell on here this is a shell on here uh -uh. no now if it was maybe i don't know maybe grapes strawberries i'll probably play that game with the little soft stuff if i didn't grow it myself and i had to buy it from the store but right no i'm not about to do this yet I'm not playing that game. Like a watermelon, come on now. They got a big old green, you know, texture around it. I'm not playing that game. I'm going to get the regular watermelon just as long as I can see the little the, the uh, vein, and, you know, and it's green. And I know I done hit it and know that it's hollow up in it. I'm not playing that game. So for the walnuts, no. But these help with your right and left brain hemisphere. These help with memory. These are where your selenium is needed for your thyroid function. These are for you olds. Don't sleep on them. you regret it. Let's see. Um, not just the old with memory. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not, but, but, but it's not highly beneficial for everybody. So I want to do one at a time and I want to just be calling out different things, but well, not for the old. All right. So that's your, the thyroid people, there you go. The people with thyroid, your body is has a level of toxicity that it has reached. And for the old, your toxicity is up in here, right? Because of your hydrochloric acid and not maybe for years not doing right with it, right? And so you didn't do right with it. You had your, your day of burger to eating. You had your day of pork chop eating. You had your day of bread, corn eating. Well, we done caught up to you and it got, um, it done got so mucus field right up in here that your hydrochloric acid is no more because there's too much of stuff up in here that's that's pretty much what thyroid issues is all about the thrash the thyroid issues the acid reflex is something in here that it has not been <laughs> uh eliminated or it could be in here that you didn't ate it up with with the wheat and now you got maybe leaky gut now you got a little all stuff in here, a little soreness or inflammation is going on up in here. So this gets reversed when you start to consume highly beneficial foods. But pay attention to your oils on that list too. Your oils as a O for any blood type, but for this one here, I'm talking to O's. Your oils on your list, that at home herbal potion that's included in the bundle, that potion has an oil, the highly beneficial oils for your blood type. When you consume those oils, they're gonna soothe this ulcer. They're going to lubricate this area. So just, just think about, okay, you let's let's okay, let's let's use this example so you can get this here. If you had something that was sitting on your arm for years in the same spot, 
your arm, your skin will begin to get red right there and feel, you know, just like people have bed sores, like because they've been sitting in the bed. It'll get red, it'll begin to lose its ability to, to deliver oxygen to that area and you'll get inflamed right there. So when you take this thing off of this particular area, it's red and what soothes it the most is when you put maybe some soothing oil on it. Why is that? Because the oil works as an anti-inflammatory and, and puts the fire out. And then you'll notice that the skin will start, the skin will start to have circulation again. And it'll begin eventually to turn back to its natural state. Ain't no difference with the, with the gut. You get rid of by eating the foods that are beneficial for your blood type. You, you use your beneficial oil for your blood type that's on your food list and you're soothing this inflammation. You're cooking with your new beneficial oil instead of the peanut oil that was adding to it, adding to the inflammation. Now you're cooking with the beneficial oil. You're soothing this particular area in your body and that old stuff that was sitting there, it gets eliminated. And because your stomach lining is just like your skin here, it sheds here. Well, guess what? You get new linings inside of here every three days. So your fire going to be going out and a new lining going to be growing. And this new lining ain't going to be a sick lining like the old lining because now you're finally eating for your blood type. And you're not just saying, oh, I, could, I can't do that because you done fell in love with your meal plan now. You done fell in love with the highly beneficial foods for your blood type now. You got to find some things on that list that you love. This is a new love. Forget about that love that didn't serve you because it had you on fire. It had you, you loving on it, your high fructose corn syrup, you loving on it more than it loved on you because it caused your body to be ascetic, but you love your potato chips though. This, this, this is, Oh, 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 I can't just eat one. I had to eat the whole bag because you love it so much. Don't no, no, turn your cheek to that kind of love and go toward the love that your blood recognizes because your blood have memory. And find on that meal plan the things that you love and wild out with that. And that way it's a, it's a two-way kind of love. It loves you and you love it. It's a 50-50 kind of love. It's benefiting you and you're getting full from it. It's being an anti-inflammatory for you and you feeling good and increasing your serotonin and your dopamine effect because of it. This is a new love. This is what the blood type bundle is all about. With that, that potion, with that beneficial food list, with that cheat code, with that seven day meal plan that teaches you seafoods, meats, fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds and herbs and spices and condiments and beverages for your blood type. In dairy, if you can consume any, think about it that way. You'll thrive. It ain't a diet. It's a lifestyle. Okay? Everything you said, I feel like I am an O with the suffering. Well, don't guess. Go to Amazon and find out what you really are, though. O's can eat beef, right? Yes. Yep. So, don't guess. Go to Amazon.com. Order your Eldon if you don't know your blood type. E-L-D-O-N. At home kit. And then you'll know what your blood type is. Just got in. I'm old and it seems as if we can have almost nothing. That's so not true. My son is old. And it seems as if he have almost too darn much. And I be having to cook it a lot of the times. That's not true. You just don't know the other meats. You don't know the meats. All of them. Because you don't probably have the blood um, uh, type bundle. You don't know all the vegetables. Or you're not using your creative skills in the kitchen some kind of way to put things together. But no, you 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 can have. You can have. Do you have a meal plan for the bee? The meal plan is specific to whatever blood type you are. Let me show you right quick. On TikTok, you click on the link in my bio and this is my homepage. This is my homepage. Now the bundle that I'm talking about for um, the blood type is going to be this third black um um, bar right here for the bun bundle you get everything that you need the weight loss the avoid list the beneficial list the at-home potion the seven-day meal plan all of that is there but if you're just getting your food list with the meal plan you're going to be clicking on the second the second black bar on the home screen so let me go back to that and show you that the second black bar is this one right here 
this one right there in the middle, the one that's white letters in the middle. So you click on this second black bar right here. That's E right for your blood type meal plan. And you'll see an image right here. E right for your blood type meal plan. So when you put, when you look at it at the bottom, it's going to ask you, choose the option, blood type. Choose the blood type you are. So you click on this here drop down and it'll pop up. Blood type A, B, A, B, O, you see it? Or you could even get all blood types. So I'm a B, I'm gonna put B. I'm gonna select B. I selected B. Now all I gotta do is click on that magenta uh, link right there that says add to cart. B, this is how you do it, add to cart. So I selected B and I hit add to cart. And when I add it to cart, now it's gonna ask me, do I wanna view my cart or continue shopping? View cart, but when you view cart now, it's gonna ask you for your email address, your form of payment and email address so it can be directly sent to you. Verify your email address. If y'all was just on the live, they just had somebody that was like, I made a mistake and put the wrong email address. Verify your email address because that way you instantly get it for that person who put the wrong email address, they still gonna get it. But not until I get off my live door, but they still gonna get it. But verify your email address and it comes to you instantly. Now you're empowered. You know your blood type, you know the beneficial foods for your blood type. You can look at them when you go to the grocery store. You have a whole seven day meal plan, which consists of a breakfast idea, a snack, a lunch, herbal teas, the juices. Don't sleep on them juices and herbal teas for your blood type because they help with the microbiome diversity. They encourage your digestive enzymes to return again. Don't sleep on your salt, your gray saltic salt, because it increases your um, hydrochloric acid in your gut. That's how you increase it by adding for A's and AB's and B's. If you unbalance that, even for the O's, when you put your hydrochloric acid out, that celtic salt is your friend because it's going to dissolve the mucus up in here and help you thrive back again and once replenish and replenish that once taken away hydrochloric acid that you normally have that normally exceeds all other blood types. So that's how you get to the website and order your blood type bundle for those who are figuring out. Let's say question, when I make oatmeal, I shouldn't put peanuts, almonds. You should put based upon what's on your list of them beneficial food groups. But I'll tell you now, um, peanuts is a no-no. Peanuts is a no-no for, um, for O and B. I'll tell you that. Okay, so moving on. Let's see. So I talked to, talk to you about the, these are O's and I'm about to wrap up O's. So we go, go, go moving on to another food group. We're going to go to the B's next. So I talked to you about the things that um, you need for your thyroid. I just helped you heal your thyroid. I just helped you heal your thyroid. If you pay attention to giving your body what it needs, I just helped you heal your thyroid. Okay. Just so you know that. For O's, you have to consider one day, even if it ain't today, to eat highly beneficial foods that's gonna help you lose weight and get rid of that um, inflammation. And for you, it's gonna be your omega-3 containing um, fish that's gonna reduce your inflammation and your healthy oils that's on your meal plan. Your healthy oils and your fish gonna help you lose the weight. Both of the, <sighs> let me look at your meal plan right quick. Let me look at your meal plan because I printed it out right here and I want to make sure before I say this next sentence. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. So the oils that's on your meal plan are highly beneficial oils for you to get rid of that inflammation in your gut. You have even on this meal plan that I'm looking at right before my eyes. You have herbal teas that's help this teas that's on that meal plan that they're designed to heal your gut. They're designed to help you heal your kidneys and liver. When I say the gut on those teas, I mean your gut, your liver, and your kidneys. Cleaning out your lymphatic system, helping you expel toxins through your kidneys, releasing the hold or the stress that's on those adrenal glands. 
So not only will you be expelling things out via your bowel movement, but also your urine, expect it to be a little thicker feeling when you're urinating. Expect it to be a little bit yellow, more yellow than what it was. That's letting you know that your kidneys are functioning. But when you do this, you do all of this, do not forsake your water. Do not forsake your water because your water is necessary for your pH balance too, for your potential hydrogen. It's H2O for a reason, hydrogen. And I don't mean reverse osmosis water. I don't mean distilled water. I'm talking about spring water, not the high A's, expensive A's water that you can't pay your bills because you didn't bought water. Buy the spring water in a regular spring water case, but manipulate your water by, by putting a pinch, a couple of little granules of Celtic sea salt and a pinch of Bob Red Mill baking soda. Those two things in your water help with your gut, help with the lining of your gut because the lining of your gut needs sodium bicarbonate because that's what it's made of. Your also internal part of your gut needs your hydrochloric acid. You get your hydrochloric acid, <coughs> excuse me, your hydrochloric acid from your Celtic sea salt. Speaking of water, I'm about to give me some. I'm gonna give me some water while I show you what I'm talking about. And then after this, we're moving on. We're moving on to the bees because I didn't give you a whole bunch of on this here live. But a new people, you got some good stuff to begin with. So after this live, after I finish with the O's, all the new O's, get your meal plan for your vegetables. Do what I just said for you to do, and you could be good. All right, so stop that microbiome diversity, that being unhealthy, make sure O's that you're cooking with onions, your yellow and your purple onion. Very important for you to cook with them O's in its rawest form. Don't cook the onion all the way down till it's nothing. We be wanting to smother everything, just smother, and then we destroy all of the nutrients out of our vegetables that we really need. So when you're cooking your vegetables or you're cooking, you, you know, and have chopped up herbs, put some herbs in there in the beginning. Yeah, that's cool. The ones that's going to be all loosey-goosey when the food done. But in the end, put some raw onions on there. Some raw purple and yellow onions. You can't go wrong with that. To help to increase your tissue mass, you need your beef. Your beef is your happy meat. To help with your um, thyroid function, I told you about your sea vegetables already. I even showed you what the one is that I get. And you, to repair your leaky gut, that's going to be back to your onions. And I talked to you all the other day. <laughs> I talked to you all the other day about your prunes. Prunes going to help get that, that old stuff out of your, your gut, your leaky gut. Okay, here we go. Regular spring water, the case of water from Walmart. It got to be spring. Turn it around, spring. It ain't reverse osmosis. It ain't distilled. I said spring. Get you some spring water. When you get you some spring water, you're putting a pinch. You saw that go up in there? That was baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. You put in a pinch of Bob Red Mill baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. Not the 99 cent Arm and Hammer. Somebody type not Arm and Hammer. Please type not Arm and Hammer. Please. I ain't going on until somebody type not Arm and Hammer. I did not say get no cheap Arm and Hammer and put it in your water. Do not get Arm and Hammer and put it in your water. Do not get Arm and Hammer with aluminum in there and put it in your water. I said Bob's Red Mill Baking Soda. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Let me make sure somebody put do not get Arm and Hammer up in here. Mm-hmm. Divinely purpose. I see you can. You was prompted, huh? You're welcome. We'll buy the meal plan at the end of the session. Bless your heart. Yeah. Did I miss AB? No, I didn't talk about them yet. I'm glad I stopped by. I'm glad you did too. Y'all laughing at me. No, I'm him. Happy to see you. Happy to see you too. <laughs> your, your, your name. <laughs> I use that on my crew. Not thank you. Thank y'all. Do, don't you put that in, in all caps. Thank you. I like that. In all camps, do not put no arm and hammer. Yeah, 
You got yours, Coach Renee? I'm so happy for you. No arm and hammer. Arm and hammer gonna be 99 cent. I know. I know this one here ain't 99 cent. I know. This 99 cent times probably 10 or 11. But guess what? It is rich, pure, aluminum free, sodium bicarbonate. Not arm and hammer. Don't you put that in your order. So what's the purpose of this here? So what's the purpose of this here? Anybody know the purpose of this here? We about to put two things in our water. Sodium bicarbonate was one. Yeah, I ain't forget. I'm coming. I'm coming. I see you. Not arm and hammer. Nobody know the purpose? Okay. We gonna move back to it and then I'll tell you the purpose. So then we got our spring water. We put a pinch of sodium bicarbonate in there, right? We put a pinch of sodium bicarbonate in there. Now we're gonna put a pinch and I say pinch don't y'all laugh at me how I say that but y'all know what I'm saying pinch for the gut yeah oh look at this here that's brandy okay 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 and we're gonna put hey how you doing pinch you see that so I have um bigger let's see that's about five of them oh that's more Maybe about 10. Look at mine. Now mine not, mine not little bitty tiny micro grains, like right? Mine are kind of fat, right? Mine are kind of fat. I thought they would have the size. Mine are kind of fat. And I gotta put mine in a um a grinder, right? So if yours are tiny, your peach. Your pinch is still a pinch is still a pinch, right? Don't go overboard with it and don't put too little. Now let me tell you what you just did to your water. No, we're not starting with purified. We're starting with spring. First of all, the taste of your water is gonna be softer now. You just alkalized your water and you just gave your water over 80 plus minerals. And if you drink your water now, your water gonna give you electrolytes that you need because you're an electric being. But the purpose, Bob's Red Mill Bacon Soda Sodium Bicarbonate is needed in spring water. Salt and sodium bicarbonate is what's inside of spring water. Go to the store if you don't believe me, Debbie Downer's probably up in here. Doubting everything. Doubting Thomas up in here. I know you are too. Doubting Thomas. Well, you go to Walmart. You go to any store you want to. And you go find you some Evian water that helps people actually re, um, be healed from cancer. If they could afford the high Evian water for the rest of their life. Turn that water bottle around and look at the ingredients. They're going to tell you. Let me too. They're going to tell you sodium bicarbonate. They're going to tell you silica, cousin of carbon. They're going to tell you electrolytes. But you just put yours in here with your salt and with your sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate destroys fungus. It's an antifungal. It increases the alkalinity of your water, right? So you just increases the alkalinity of your body, being that if you have thyroid issues, you're ascetic, just to let you know. Because if you have any type of sickness and disease, you're more or less on the acetic range. You're not alkaline. Mm -mm. You're more like on an acetic range. So you need more alkalizing water with minerals and life force in it. Then your minerals are coming from your salt, your Celtic sea salt, which happens to be high in magnesium, which happens to have sil uh, silica inside of there, which happens to detox your body so now your water is helping you and everything else I just told you is helping you with them thyroid issues, with detoxing your body. Now you're thriving. You may experience a die off effect such as increasing the bulk of your bowel or maybe the thickness of your urine. But that means now your kidneys are working. That means now your bowels is now finally eliminating that thing that was sitting right here. If you get diarrhea, that means that lipid coating around the viruses, that big sack, it bursts and psh, it bursts into a liquid. It popped because you were doing your right oils. It popped 
and it's gonna be foul yeah because them critters would stink when it was up inside of that lipid coating they were multiplying they were laying eggs and larva which stinks but you gotta get that out of your body in order to experience this thing called a good quality of health and wellness and no no what they call this intermediate fasting gonna do that no just becoming a vegan gonna do that because becoming a vegan don't determine your health and wellness we have sick vegans out here what happens is energetically on a chemical level your blood and the food that i just told you to consume will create a chemical reaction and it will positively benefit you now the old reaction that you was creating was based upon your body becoming more acidic based upon your body becoming more toxic based upon your body becoming more inflamed out with the old in with the new i just gave you a new start www.tarvierpub.org owes Purchase your meal plan, blood type bundle. I'm done with you. May the force be with you. There's some O's in this house. There's some O's in this house. Thank you all of the O's for coming to my, my channel. I respect you. I honor you. I know God is working within you. I know what your blood type is. Your blood type has the ability to write your own name. If you come out of church and you heard this song, Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood doesn't sign my name. You fool around and you eat for your blood type. Then you be back on my live talking about, can't you see? Can't you see? Can't you see what the blood has done? Because the blood is your footprint to your DNA, your dormant DNA, your God DNA. Activate it. Activate it. All right? We done with the oils. Bless you. <laughs> you like my sense of humor, Noel? A please. <laughs> a please. <laughs> All right, we do B and then we do A. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the gifts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're going to do B and then we're going to do A. Then we're going to do A. <laughs> thank you, O's. That's me, bro. <laughs> Check out my O's. <laughs> I love the O's. I married the O. I gave life to the O. That's the gods in physical form. Respect. 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 We doing bees next. Bees. Where my bees at y'all up in here? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You've been so helpful. Yeah. Tap that screen on y'all way out. Give me some more likes. It's more blessed to give than it is to receive. See you next time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, love, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all come back and let me know how y'all doing now. Don't be a stranger to my lives. Now that y'all got what y'all want. Don't forget to get y'all meal plan. Y'all need them vegetables. Y'all need to find out them fruits that you need to be consuming. Because your fruits on your on the meal plan helps you use the restroom and get rid of that old stuff that's sitting on there. Don't sleep on your, your fruit. You only really got like about 10 really beneficial ones for your blood type. Because you got to stay away from the aesthetic fruits. But get your vegetables too. And you can wild out on your choice meats. But you you know the deal. You know what your, your body has already been telling you this. You just didn't know which ones. The meal plan going to help you with that. I'm happy that I was able to help you too. Thanks as always. You're so welcome. Did you already do oh Yeah, the O's about to walk out the door. Where you been at, Brandy? <laughs> yeah, get you some bacon soda. You saw this on your meal plan. That, oh, look at you. I'm so proud of you. You, Coach Renee. All right, where my bees at? We got any bees still up in here? Because if not, then we'll go to another one. Let me know you up in here, bees. Bees, if you're here. I was late. <laughs> yeah, you was late. But you know what? I'm going to upload it to my um, YouTube channel. The link to my YouTube is in my bio. And then you could maybe do the replay. But that probably don't be up till tomorrow, though, because TikTok take a long time. I guess because I be talking forever in a day. Because my, my uploads be like three hours long. But I'm going to try to hurry up today. You hear? They only got one? Oh, I see some. Okay. Hey, Sassy. What you doing? Kimberly. Favorite. Yeah. Okay, okay. We got some over here too. Peggy. Joyful. Okay. Be over here. I see you, Sandra. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. We got some. My kids are bees. Your children are bees. Okay, okay. 
And then we have AB. Timmy is an AB. Okay. I'm fine. I'm perfect, babe. I'm perfect. Thanks for asking me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we're starting off with bees. Bees, bees, bees. I'm a bee. And first of all, <laughs> personality wise, bees are very uh, intellectual people. They speak and they, they really uh, value thought. Like, um, Maybe they are mentalism, spiritual side. They're knowledgeable people. We, we are very great leaders. It's not a, about a cockiness about us because we don't really like, you know, to be, we're not attention seekers, right? But um, personality-wise, we value things, uh, mindfulness type things, knowledge, truth of ourselves. Energetic-wise, we like or perform deaths with physical activities such as team building exercises even if we're introvert because i'm an introvert believe it or not you know i don't believe me no more though but this is the only thing that i could actually talk about for a long time because it's my passion but outside of this i'm an introvert and <laughs> i could do a lot of things alone but when it's time to go out and exercise we thrive on exercises and team sports at that time because we didn't already recharge inside so when we go out the perfect exercises physically for us will be things like golfing hiking maybe those little fitness um classes at the gym where you team up with someone and you know how they be throwing the heavy weight balls whatever we'll get more in, in out of our workouts when there's another person with us doing the work out with us at that time because that's the time when we want other people around so we thrive like i said on golf hiking and um fitness workouts or tennis when we have another partner as far as our diet is concerned we are balanced people with our diet because we could eat when i say balance b stands for balance because we could eat from any group of foods right we could even eat dairy we have some meats we could consume you know we have seafood we have beans you know we have the condiments herbs and the spices everybody every category rather every other diet our, our blood type doesn't have that like for example eggs they don't have no highly beneficial meats so we're balanced in that particular area <laughs> And she's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's like when you know this, when you study these people for so long, you can see the personality, the fitness, the way that they carry themselves and everything, right? I've enjoyed all the good stuff. So, but the only thing about us, though, is the fact that too much of one thing, being that we balance people, B stands for balance, too much of one thing could knock us out of balance. So when we fix our diet, focus on meat, 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 potato chip, potato chip, potato chip, you know, just one center thing, we get inflamed. And so these are the things as a bee that are really, really inflammatory. Y'all listening? Y'all listening, right? I don't see no movement no more. Y'all done got quiet, quiet, quiet. Where y'all at? Somebody here? These are the things that will get you really inflamed. I don't see nothing. Y'all listening. Okay, 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 good. These are the things that'll get you really inflamed. Tomatoes. And so when I say tomatoes, be wise now when I say it. I'm saying ketchup. I'm saying the pico, so Mexican tomato stuff. I'm saying spaghetti. I'm saying anything with tomatoes in it instant inflammation you as a bee gotta watch out for your oils because we got some oils that run rancid inside of us but the thing about the oils not only do they run rancid see certain oils only ain't good for any blood group but us with our oils that ain't good for us they tear a hole in our digestive um, system they destroy our digestive system your accent is so cool oh <laughs> thank you thank you so the oils, and when I say oils, I'm talking about corn oil, canola oil, peanut oil, sunflower oil. Those oils, when we cook with them, or we get a meal that has them in it, 
we'll be sitting there wondering what the heck happened. It was the oil. So this, you got to look out for this when you go out for, to certain restaurants because they'll get the cheaper oil, you know, because they're in the business of making money. When you go to certain fast food places, like for example, Chick-fil-A, I talk about that one all the time. They fry they, they, they chicken strips and nuggets inside of peanut oil. That peanut oil for a bee will tear up our digestive system. Not only that, it leads me to the next thing. That chicken, that Chick-fil-A is selling, will tear up our digestive system. It might be so flavorable when we're eating it, yeah. But then when we digest that thing, we're tired. We don't feel right. We get a light, slight little headache. And so that leads me to the next thing about us. Because we are balanced, B stands for balance. We're talking about the Bs. Because we are so balanced with our diet, just imagine, just think about it like this here, a scale that's in balance. It'll notice the certain little fluctuance in whatever you put on the scale. So this lets you know one thing about you. All blood types, they have a lectin sensitivity, but yours being that you're so balanced, your lectin sensitivity is really, really high. What am I saying here? When you eat foods that aren't beneficial for you, when your blood interact with the food that you're eating, you instantly feel that thing. Higher, or should I say harder than other food groups because you have such a high sensitivity to lectins. But then the opposite is true too. When you eat the beneficial foods for you, you ready to roll. You got your life force back. It prompts you to increase serotonin and dopamine because now you're eating the ones that's on your meal plan that are highly beneficial for you. Okay, so I need you to know that. That is very, very, very important. So we're gonna talk first about some of the things that's destroying you that I have on my notes from my um, meal plan and everything that I, um, that I kind of like highlighted to tell you. <clears throat> Sickness though. As far as sickness is concerned for you, your sickness or disease, it'll, it all starts in the gut for anybody. But after the gut, the first place, just like I was talking to the oils, their area is up in here, thyroid issues, you know, from their gut, stimulants and thyroid issues, peptic ulcer right up in here. Well, bees, yours go over here. Yours go over here to your liver. You get a clogged up liver when you are at your toxic level, right? And so, so because of that, because of that, you need certain herbal teas that's listed on the meal plan that will detox your liver and clean your gut at the same time because this is your, your like problematic area, your liver, remember that. Here we go. Your uh, lectin sensitivity will spike at its highest peak when you consume chicken. Chicken, corn, wheat, sesame, amaranth, soy and rye so what am i saying here if you're eating let's say a chicken salad i mean okay this is this, this is this is information for you i'm gonna put together a meal you got a sandwich a chicken sandwich with sesame seeds on top of the bun and the bun itself is made of wheat let's say buckwheat and soy is in this here bun, bun or in rye, right? And you got the sesame seeds on top of the bun. And then you decide you're gonna have a corn on a cob on the side. And then to add to that, your chicken was fried in peanut oil like Chick-fil-A, fried chicken in peanut oil. You're on fire. You are on fire. The only beneficial thing that would be on that burger or on that plate is if you had a highly beneficial <laughs> piece of vegetable on that sandwich. And I'm not just talking about no regular iceberg lettuce. And most times when we eat in sandwiches, you know, the fast food places just throwing a little, little regular little lettuce on there. So right after that burger, you're inflamed. And so inflammation equals acids. Acids equals you don't have no more serotonin, you ain't feeling good. Acids equals no dopamine effect, gone. You're tired. You're on fire. 
you or your, your digestive system has redness to it. If not, if you didn't tilt the, t the scale and move over to having like now a hole in your digestive system, because once it starts with inflammation, then it starts to tear up, then it turns into leaky gut, then the kidneys start to acting up, then the liver gets clogged up. Everything is a downward spiral from you constantly eating a chicken sandwich like I described that's full of wheat, full of soy in that bread, they got sesame seeds on top of it and it's in peanut oil. We be killing ourselves with the pork, right? So now you inflamed from those things. <laughs> then if you are a bean lover and you're a bee, well, lentils, beans, they cause your liver to become toxic. You remember I told you as a bee, that's our problematic area, right? Lentils, black beans, black eyed peas, mung beans, artichokes, and aloe cause your liver to become toxic and stagnated and in dire need of a detox. So when I say mung beans, I need you to know this here in case you never heard of that. Well, what is mung beans? They have, if you're trying to be, let's say for example, you a bee and you want to be vegan, like you don't want the regular egg, you're going to go to Whole Foods store and you're going to buy the healthy alternative called Just Egg. It's a liquid egg healthy alternative, Just Egg. Well, guess what? It's made out of mung bean. I just want to let you know that. Mung bean on just egg is not for you, blood type B. It will inflame you. You will be thinking, oh, well, I ain't eating the chicken. I thought I can eat, you know, the mung bean substitution. No, 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 no. I'm here eating black eye beans with rice and some things. <laughs> All right, well, I sure hope you're not a bee over there, DB. <laughs> yeah, you could love them. But the relationship that they have with your blood ain't gonna love you back. Just wanted to tell you though. Okay, so moving on, we have peanuts. I already told you about tomatoes. Peanuts, when I say peanut oil, I mean peanuts too. So anything that have peanuts in it, your little Snickers, you know, your peanut butter and jelly sandwich on the bread with the wheat that so you got the wheat and the peanut butter fighting against you okay black pepper poppy seeds cashews corn corn starch pinto beans malt dextrin and rhubarb i want to share with you what malt dextrin is most often than not it be up in your potato chips malt dextrin destroys your kidneys it's an additive that they think bake out of corn, toxic forms of additives that they put inside of potato chips that really don't have no purpose in there. But for you, those condiments destroy your kidneys and lead to more toxicity in your liver, which is your problematic part of your body. So inside of your gut, your microbiome diversity gets altered first before the liver becomes so toxic and, and, and stagnated. So this is really much, pretty much how you got there. And it goes back to your condiments. You got there by consuming things like peanuts, dextrose, distilled vinegar. These things cause an imbalance in your microbiome. We are actually the only blood group that benefits from orange juice, right? Vitamin C, all other blood groups, they actually need to do an alternative of orange juice called kumquats, which are small orange-like oranges. So to help with that, that imbalance in the gut for us, we have our citrus fruit to go to. We, unlike the O's we were just talking about, we have vinegars beneficial vinegars that we can go to to help us but lemons and key lime all across the board are good for all blood type lemon and key lime so to help with that microbiome diversity to get rid of that mucus consider if you're a bee some key lime and some lemon 
and doing a beneficial detox in your body. Purchasing the meal plan and moving forward, eating highly beneficial foods for your body, right? So, in order to get rid of this here imbalance, to clean out this here liver, the liver for you, the green teas on the beneficial food list, those green teas there, detox your liver, your, your lymphatic system, your large and small intestines, your kidneys, your bowel, those detoxes are highly beneficial, the green teas. Outside of that, licorice root tea. Licorice root tea. Because licorice root, if you are a bee, opens up your adrenal glands to help your kidneys to function or flow and help to re release the acids. Keep in mind, acids are the backup for the blood. You get toxins and things that go into the bloodstream. Lymphatic system is the backup for the blood. It removes them. It might make it a little swollen. What it's saying is, hey, hey, I got it. I got it. I'm in a lymph. I got that bacteria out the blood. I brought it to the lymph. Hey, you. Hey, you. Give me what I need. Give me what I need to get this out of here, out the lymph. Open up the adrenal glands, please. Could you open them up? Could I throw this into the kidneys? And then that way you can expel it when you go to the restroom. But you got to drink water to do this. You got to drink your, your maybe your key lime or your lemon to do this. Another thing, B, you can drink is your licorice root. I ain't talking to all other blood types. I'm talking about bees. Bees, your licorice root. That's highly beneficial for you, B, to open up the adrenals to release. I'm going to ask myself a question because I know it's probably in, in, the, in the comments or I know somebody thinking of it. I'm going to ask the question out loud and I'm going to answer it out loud. Oh, but what about, you know, because I got blood pressure. I'm a bee, but I got this blood pressure issue. And I hear that licorice root. Be careful with it when you have blood pressure. Okay, here's the answer to that. Licorice root. First of all, I'm talking to bees. I'm talking to bees because licorice root is not good for everybody. It's highly beneficial for bees. And we're on the bee segment of this live. What are we going to do to level off that blood pressure first? I hope y'all taking notes. Is somebody taking notes out there? If you a bee, I hope you taking notes. Don't go off of memory. I want you to write this down. You ain't tapping the screen. Don't look like it. So I hope you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. 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 Y'all taking notes. Okay, good. If you have, <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm happy for y'all, good, because I got all this stuff in my head, at least somebody get it, get it, I can get it out and give it to somebody to help them with. If you have high blood pressure and you're a B, what we're going to do is follow directions here. We're going to, when we purchase our blood type bundle, we're going to pay attention to that at-home herbal potion, right? Why? Is she saying this so she could get she could get my forty five dollars? She want my five dollars. No, I want your five dollars. <laughs> I want you to be healthy. The at home herbal potion consists of your highly beneficial oil for your blood type. Not for the old blood type, not for the A B's, and not for the A's. For your B blood type. The at-home herbal potion has an oil in there that's highly beneficial. It has herbs in there that's highly beneficial. It, it tells you to put a couple of drops of the alchemist oil in there, highly beneficial to remove parasites and everything. And a highly beneficial prebiotic in there. When you mix the herbal potion that you're going to make to heal your body, it's going to bring that blood pressure down. Right? It's balancing your blood pressure. How is it balancing my blood pressure? Okay, you want to know that too? Because didn't I tell you that your problem is your liver? When you give your liver, which is how you live, <laughs> the proper oils, it lubricates up in there. It begins to detox up in there. It starts to move and allow things to flow. The beneficial herbs are going to burst through clogged arteries in there, right? All of this in that herbal potion going to bring your blood pressure down. When your blood pressure get down, since we done transformed that energy, now is the perfect time for you to take, start off on the lowest dose. 
of your licorice root. And so what's happening now? Blood pressure down. You start the dose of the licorice root. Licorice root is going to open up the adrenal glands that sit above the kidneys. They're going to start releasing all of the acids, all of the uric acid, the lactic acid, and it's going to bring it down to the kidneys. The reason why you can't just jump and get to the licorice root if you have blood pressure problem, think about it like this here. Your blood is already thick and tacky. That's hence blood pressure. Your lymphatic system is already backed up. Because the adrenal glands closed, ain't nothing coming out. It's almost like opening up something that have a whole hot bunch of pressure in it, pop, and it pops. Yeah, we don't want that to happen to you. So this is why you're going to follow these directions and don't do it with hair phase. Remember Grandma said, a hard head make a what? Somebody know. A hard head make a what? Somebody Grandma told him. I know I wasn't the only Grandma that said this. A hard head make a... A soft ass. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. A hard head make a soft ass. And we don't want soft asses, right? <laughs> Y'all said it's so nice. They said a soft behind. Somebody said a sore behind. A soft ass is what my grandma told me. <laughs> so we're going to get the pressure down. You getting that? By using your at-home herbal potion. And you're going to identify it on the meal plan. If you get the meal plan, it's already there. You don't have to get it separate. But if you just want to get it, you can get it by itself, the herbal potion. The herbal potion going to do this here for your liver, unclog it for you. And so right here, you will feel this. If you, you have the highest sensitivity. So if you sit yourself down with yourself, you can feel for yourself that this is working for you. And you need to know this about yourself. After you take your herbal potion, you lay back on the bed or sit. No, no, don't sit down. Lay back on your bed. After you put together your oil, your herbs inside them, you know, on a spoon in a little container. I like to use these here because I, I had a food truck and I had all of this here extra um, stuff. I like to use these. I with my little lids and I'll shake up the little potion and I'll down mine like this here. Make sure I get all of the little bit of herbs at the bottom and down it. But after you do it, after you consume yours, you want to lay down in the bed. And it is my promise to you, you're going to feel this in your kidneys. You're going to feel this in your liver too. I promise you. You lay down in the bed. When I did this years ago, when I first started healing myself, I lay down in the bed. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? And I could have sworn, you couldn't have told me that I didn't have a shirt on with marbles. And marbles was falling down in my shirt. But this here was happening inside of me. And so right here underneath your ribs, you have your gallbladder duct. You're going to be softening because you have your oil up in there that's lubricating that liver, softening, softening the things that's inside of that gallbladder duct and allowing those things to be expelled and get into the large and small intestine to be expelled out of your body. You're going to be detoxifying your liver with your at-home herbal potion is what I'm telling you here. Yeah, you're going to be doing it. You, you're healing. You've been waiting on you. Yeah, just you. You've been waiting on you to come here. So you do this here. You detox and you release that load. That's what you're doing. That's how the blood pressure going to go down. Y'all got that part? That's so important if you have um, high blood pressure. It's so important. And you'll be. But that herbal choice that's going to help you with your liver is your licorice root. It's going to help you with your liver detox. I'm sorry, that's going to help you with your kidney. It's going to be your licorice root. That's going to get all of that stuff out that has been drew out by the herbal potion and, and stuff. All of them toxins are going to be coming out via the large and small intestines, a.k.a. bowel, or being the adrenal glands secreting into the kidneys, a.k.a. your urine. Don't be surprised if the color of your urine is darker. That's okay. That means your kidney's working. That's okay. You're supposed to see darker color urine when you're doing this here. You're supposed to see settlements. And when I say settlements, I'm talking about like maybe little lines, you know, maybe little, little white, small little particles, so to speak. That's acids. That's acids and, and that's uric acid and lactic acids. That's toxins that got to come out. And you could see them in the smaller part of the toilet. You know how the, you know, the top of the water be the yellow color. But if you look down, they got a smaller part of, in the toilet. I'm talking about down there. Look down there. So looking down there because you're going to be releasing this year. via your urine with that licorice root. That's your friend. 
I wouldn't lie to you if you'd be. Okay, let's move on. So the liver function is going to be helped by the at-home herbal potion and your licorice root. That's your problem area. That's why I've spent so much time on this here. Play with it if you want to. Okay, outside of that, you too, you too will benefit greatly from grapes. Grapes, grapes really take care of the lymphatic system. Seeded grapes though. Don't go playing around with no seedless grapes. Don't waste your time with that. That's genetically modified. They have more sugars up in there. We don't, we don't need to be healed. We can't be healed with no sugars. We need seeded grapes. That also helps you detox the, uh, um, the kidneys. Now remember, it's important to detox your lymphatic system, AKA your kidneys, because it is the backup for your blood. Stuff goes into the blood. How does it get out? lymphatic system drag that thing over there it drags the impurities so when i'm talking about the lymphatic system and i'm telling you about your your liver and all understand the process it has to go over there to get expelled out of you okay so oftentimes we'll have let me show you what this here look like we'll have imbalances in our microbiome diversity that's pretty much a big word to say your beneficial bacteria in your gut is losing the battle the the, the, the non-beneficial bacteria winning you know the good guys and the bad guys right so what helps you with that is what helps you with that is certain um, sweetness because of the amount of um, The amount of tackiness or stickiness that they have, they have the ability to pick up toxins and critters and expel certain things out of your body. We're talking about the bees, right? Let's get these likes up. <laughs> Let's get these likes up. I done did O's already. I'm giving y'all some good information that your doctor ain't gonna tell you how to heal your body once and for all. Let's get these likes up. Y'all tap the screen. Y'all tap the screen. I'm about to take me a break. It's more blessed to give than it is to receive. I'm, I'm about to take me a water break while y'all tapping the screen. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of that um, imbalance in your gut. The microbiome diversity and what you really need inside of it. What did I do with my soy and my covenant? Y'all tap the screen. Let's get, let's get, let's get closer to 20,000. I done, I done told a whole food group, a whole blood type, what they need for their thyroid. And I'm teaching you how to heal your kit and your liver. Yeah. While well, I'm giving to you. You remember that song? You can't be God's giving. It's, it's offering time. No matter how you try. I need some water. The more you give, the more he'll give to you. My grandma, I mean my, not my grandma, my auntie. She a pastor. She country, she a country pastor. She used to always sing that song at all her um, time in her church. Well, she still do actually. You can't be God's given, no matter how you try. Y'all remember that song? Y'all tap the screen while I'm on my my, my water break. Could I have some water? Don't y'all get mad at me because I want some water. <laughs> Don't y'all get mad at me, bees? I want some water. Thank y'all for tapping the screen. I appreciate you. We're gonna talk about getting rid of that um that imbalance up in here. There's certain fruits on your highly beneficial food list, but I want to share something with you to pay attention to when you get your um, herbal potion. One more time. Oh, that feels so refreshing. Okay, so 
Bees. Back to the bees. What we at? 18,000? Thank y'all. Appreciate you. So, the microbiome diversity gets out of balance when we don't have what they call the beneficial bacteria, like prebiotics. You ever heard of them acidophilus commercials? You know, where they do the little white little tablet or whatever. Well, <clears throat> they have certain sweeteners, like this one here in my hand. This one here in my hand, there's another one on the um, um, herbal potion list. This one here in my hand is blackstrap molasses. Blackstrap molasses, Whole Foods, so you can get this one here from Whole Foods. So they might have it on um, Amazon, but I got this one here from Whole Foods store. And so when we're talking about beneficial bacteria and when we talk about microbiome diversity, I told you earlier that you can burst through the lipid coating of a virus based upon your beneficial oil that you consume that's on your food list, right? You consume your beneficial oil, it bursts through the lipid coating virus. Then at your, with your herbal portion, it's an oil plus herbs plus the sweetener and the um, alchemist oil, right? Well, bless you, whoever that is that purchased a meal plan. Well, blackstrap molasses really helps you with your microbiome diversity because what it's doing inside of there is just leaving like a prebiotic type beneficial bacteria behind. And so when you think about your thick, um, tacky foods that do that, like for example, the O's with the prunes, that, the prunes for them helps with them with their microbiome diversity because the prunes are tacky. Molasses, tacky. So the tacky things in your digestive system, just think about it like this here. It's grabbing all fecal matter, old parasites and pathogens. While it's passing by, it's kind of like back passing and picking that up. And so while it's picking some of the parasites up, it's leaving some of its residue behind inside of your gut. Hence, now you have a balanced microbiome diversity. Burr's yeast, black molasses, that helps you tremendously with your microbiome diversity. Cabbage, microbiome diversity. Only for the bees. Only for the bees. Remember that. Okay, so your main risk factors or corporates, like I said, it's gonna be that liver B. Your liver is gonna be the toxic area for you. The fact that you have a lot of sensitivities to lectins and you got to pay attention to all of your condiments because of that because your condiments is condiments is your sneaky link your condiments be where your tomatoes you know uh flavoring is your condiments be where your maltodextrin is and your dextrose that have you on fire your condiments your additives that's the things that you you're really your sneaky link and your stress. Hence, I taught you how to open up your adrenal glands with licorice root because licorice root helps you with stress. When you are stressed out, I don't care what kind of food you ate, B. When you get stressed out, your it's like your, your um, adrenal glands close up. You carry your stress here. So you better learn the moose eye. <laughs> you gotta get you a happy song, B. You got to find the good B because when you stress, you stop this here from opening up your adrenal glands from opening up to help your body detox. And that's important for you because you hold your toxins in your liver and they got to come out and be expelled. So a stressful lifestyle, a stressful environment, because I stress this to you the most because you are the balanced one. So your lifestyle must represent balance. Balance with stress, balance with diet, balance with who you're working out with when you work out. You see where I'm going here? B stands for balance. You don't get balance, your adrenal glands lock up. Adrenal glands lock up and they're not secreting because you're not in balance. Now you're ascetic. Now you're about to tilt the wheel and stay on the ascetic side and cause yourself dis ease. Why? Because you didn't want to get no balance. Once again, Grandma said, a hard head. 
make herself ass. Stay in balance, B. <laughs> okay? All right, those are my Bs. That's what you should stay away from. Those are the things that benefit you the most. The lever is the part of your body that gets the most issues, pretty much. Okay? Let's see. That's for Ganda for stress. Oh man, you calling me out tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You missed the A. I ain't do the A. I only did O's and now I'm wrapping up on the B. For stress. Yeah. I would say more than anything, the B's for stress. The licorice root is the is the main one, I would say. But if we're gonna do um, herbal tea, the green teas for stress that's on the weight loss cheat code that comes with the blood type bundle, those are really powerful stress relievers. Those teas right there, I know people talk about the ashwagandha thing, and that's cool, and I done tried it, and I'm being, I'm like, okay, I done, I done tried all of this here stuff. I done been doing this over 10 years. But baby, ain't no kuma. Kumbaya like them herbal teas on that list, them green teas. These are teas that like Buddhist monks take for awakening. <laughs> Ashwagandha is cool and all, but them green teas that's on that blood type bundle that I put underneath, I know I put it underneath there because I'm a bee. <laughs> I know I put it underneath there for the bees. When you research those um, teas right there, and you find that kumbaya feeling coming through your body. Matter of fact, <laughs> they have these younger men who tried this tea. Because I, I was just hanging out with some youngsters that tried this tea and said to me, Hey, what's in this? This feels nice. And if you could feel it in the rank <laughs> on what you, you know, the relaxing feeling that they was associating the tea with, they're like, man, you, you tell us this, this, some, this some healthy stuff, man, this here got me feeling good. So you take with that what you want. Ashwagandha could never. I'm just saying. <laughs> Done. I just purchased the whole positive. I love green tea. Yeah, I'm doing one thing right. Yeah, that yeah, that green tea right there. Oh my god. And then it helps to expel the, the parasites and stuff too. And it's on the um meal plan. But the blood type B, the meal plan. Do I have it in front of me? Let's see. Did I take it? I must I probably know. Yeah, I gave it away to somebody. I gave it away to somebody. Let me look, because I want to tell you exactly. Wait, I got another one over here. I want to tell you exactly where it's at for those of you who purchased the meal plan. Now, I have on Monday licorice root on your meal plan already. On Monday, for a beneficial tea, it's on your meal plan, B. Let me see where I put this one here that's, um, that's good for stress, for those of you that are stressed out. Okay. So when you purchase the meal plan, they have a page four for highest beneficial food list. If you're a blood type B, that tea that I'm talking about is under beverages, teas, and coffees. That's the tea that's going to deal with your stress. That's the tea going to give you your kumbaya type feeling. That's it. Can't go wrong. Let's see. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, green tea and licorice root. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Not just any green tea. You gotta get that tea there. That tea there, game changer. I done had the ginseng, the other green. Yeah, womp, 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 womp. I'm talking about that one on that page four. That's the master one. That's the Buddhist monk, everything. You be sitting there, this is every. You know what? Everything just happens for a reason, and it's okay. And every. Everybody is fine, and the world is perfect, and I'm perfect, and you're perfect. Everything gonna be perfect. You gonna be so mellow. I'm telling you, that tea is so good. I'm gonna have to drink me some tea. I ain't have none in about two days now. I'm gonna have to drink me some tea after I get off of here. You done brought me back to flashbacks up in here. That's some good tea right there. What's a good substitute for soy sauce or oyster sauce for B? We can't do soy. 
I would say, being that we, we can do vinegar, I like to make my own sauces actually. And because um, we can do uh, vinegar, we just can't do the um, tomatoes. I like to make soy, I mean, sauces from vinegar, adding molasses to it and adding highly beneficial herbs and um, spices to it. You know, cause if you, once you have and your highly beneficial oil, cause the sauce is really, if you think about the sauces of the world, they're really just all oil. They're really just um, some kind of spice, you know, flavor, a sweetener, you know, and herbs up in there. So I just play around with the highly beneficial ones that's on the food list. You can't go wrong. And that way you're not bored with this lifestyle, but you're getting away from the high fructose corn syrup because remember bees have condiments that really mess them up. Like for example, that high fructose corn syrup that tricks your brain into thinking you're hungry when you're really full. Remember bees are about balance and if they thinking that they're hungry when they're really full and they're consuming this one thing over and over and they're not getting a plethora of balance in their diet, that's when they cause them the most inflammation in their diet. So I told you about the high fructose corn syrup already. I told you about the, um, the dextrin and the dextrose, I told you about that already. Um, I told you about, yeah, dextrose. You know, I said ketchup already. So yeah, that's covered. MSG, you can't do that. You can't do soy. We're talking about soy now. So you also gotta pay attention to mayonnaise that have soy or tofu inside of it because that's another little sneaky little con condiment that you gotta watch out for. And you also watching out for, um, um, the mung bean, I spoke about that when you're trying to do a egg substitution, trying to be good, going to that organic egg substitution, that mung bean is, 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 anti, is, is very in, inflammatory. Uh, corn starch and corn syrup, um, barley malt, and gelatin. So those are the things. It's, oh, and stevia. Stevia, that little substitute, little sugar or whatever. But on your food list, you got your highly beneficial sweetener and it is delicious and you won't have to worry about that artificial stuff. Congratulations to whoever that was that um, just purchased their meal plan. Yeah, we talked about that already. We talked about how to do the at-home herbal potion in order for the blood pressure to come down. It doesn't, it doesn't elevate it. It is that they, it is that there's so much of pressure in there and it's like taking a lid off something pops. So we bring it down with the at-home herbal potion by giving it the oils, giving your liver and your body the oils that it needs, the herbs that it needs to bring it down, to burst through the clogged arteries and things that it needs to dissolve and break up all of that mucus that it needs to do. And then we open up the adrenal gland by taking the um, licorice root at a smaller quantity, drinking a whole bunch of water afterwards, flushing that thing out and just being easy with ourselves to open up the adrenal glands to get the, the acids to come out of the kidneys staying hydrated get them asses out and then revisiting that day maybe a day or so later after you get hydrated all over again but that's the trick we got to transform the energy and bring the pressure down then open up and take the licorice root as a bee only i'm only talking to the bees when i talk about the licorice root because that's the only blood type that licorice root is highly beneficial for okay y'all got that thank you i've lost 10 pounds in eight days yes so they're making my own mayo just out of olive oil. There you go. Just make your own stuff. Because they're putting all kind of crazy stuff up in here. Okay. Who we got next? Thank you, B. B, stay in balance. Stay in balance and stay true to yourself. Bees, you could you could, you could, could escape any type of sickness and disease. Any last one of them. I'm living um, proof of that. If you stay in balance, though. You got a variety of foods that you could choose from on the meal plan. Get the blood type bundle. That way you got your meal plan, you got your herbal portion, you got your avoid list, your beneficial list, and you got your weight loss cheat code. Weight loss cheat code are highly beneficial foods just for your blood type. That will snatch your waist back, help you lose weight. They're beneficial for you. Draw in your stomach, draw in your skin. All right, B. I'm proud of you. I'm happy for you. Be blessed, babe. Who we got next? You're welcome, Peggy. No, you didn't miss A. All we got left is A. 
and A B. Whoever they have the most of, that's what we'll do next. A, they got some A's up in here. A's up in here. You're so welcome. Favored. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate y'all. Y'all tap the screen on your way out, um, bees. Tap the screen on your way out. See that hand clap again. <laughs> we got A. Oh, A. We'll do A next. Coach Renee been here. <laughs> Coach Renee. So whether you're negative or positive, this is going to apply to you as an A. We're going to do the A's next. Tap the screen. Let us get to 20,000 likes on both pages. I done did two blood types. I don't know how long I've been running my mouth. I'm going to drink the rest of my water. And we're going to start when we get to 20,000 likes. I'm late. What's an A? <laughs> Perfect time. You're not late. Let me show you what's A. Let me show you while I'm running my mouth. I'm going to flip the screen. So we're talking about eating for your blood type. We're talking about eating for your blood type. And, and so, uh-oh, let me do that again. Okay. And so if you don't know your blood type, that's what we're talking about. That's what an A is. We have blood type O, A, B, and AB. When you know your blood type, you can begin to eat for your blood type because your blood and the food that you eat, they create a chemical reaction called lectin. Either a positive reaction or a negative reaction is happening every time you eat. So if you don't know your blood type, at the top of the screen, you go to Amazon. Amazon and you order the Elden at home kit. We'll start when we get to 20,000 likes on both pages. We had 19.1 on God is Just Be page. We had 16.5 on God is Just Be Healthy page. When we get to 20,000 likes, we'll get started with the A's. So if you don't know your blood type, you go to Elden at Home. You find the Elden at Home kit on Amazon. After you find out and do the kit at home, three minutes tops, you'll know your blood type. Now you're empowered, but you're not ready just yet. Then you go to my website, talktheearthpub.org. When you get to my website, the most valuable product for you to begin with is the one that has that asterisk by it. It's on the home screen at the very top in on the blackboard and it says blood type bundle. You'll get a seven day meal plan for your blood type. You'll get an at home herbal potion to help you detox your body based upon your blood type. You'll get an avoid list, food to avoid and beneficial foods that you can consume for your blood type. You'll get a weight loss cheat code. That includes cheat codes, foods, that's going to instantly help you to lose weight for your blood type. Your blood has memory. It is magical. It is either causing you to get inflamed with the food that you're eating or causing you to get energy, wake up your dormant DNA, be activated, live a life full of health and mental clarity or not. It's one or the other. Also, I have available the Power Within Transformation course. That's 18 how-to videos, how to eat right, how to shop for harmful ingredients, how to manifest, how to meditate, things like that. Because we cover both physical and spiritual, how to um, read the PLU numbers, how to cleanse the organs, things like that. Next product is going to be actually that first black bar that you see when you get to my website. That's the same detox. It's a bundle. You get sustained detox, which is an herbal detox, 30 day herbal detox, highly beneficial for all blood types. And you'll get the alchemist oil, which also needs to be a couple of drops of the alchemist oil is needed for the at home herbal potion because the alchemist oil is the world's most powerful antioxidant and is anti-parasitic. It will clear out pathogens. I'm talking about parasites, worms, toxicity and their eggs and larva that they lay we had 20,000 on god is just be page we had 18.3 likes at god is just be healthy y'all ready to get started let's see so i just wanted to uh oh there we go flip the camera I'm flipping the camera back to me all right i just made a purchase i feel so happy for you Thank you. I appreciate you. I'm happy for you. And come, I'm normally here. I'm normally here from 10 a.m. until I quit with all of the blood types. Monday through Friday, 
10 a.m. I don't normally be here. This I had a bunch of weekend orders that I had to take care of and I just came on late today. But I'm here. If you have any questions after you purchase, once you start, it, it, it turns into like a community of people that just come to check in and kind of like tell how they doing and how they progressing. This ain't no diet. This is a lifestyle. This is about staying off the sickness frequency and coming to health and wellness. We at the 20 yet? What y'all doing over here? Y'all looking at me over here? You over here. God is just be healthy. Hey, you, all 46 of you, tap that screen right there so we can get to this 20,000 of you up out of here. <laughs> the A's are waiting on you. We at 18.7. Because it's more blessed to give than it is to receive. And this is about an energy flow. Just like you're transforming the energy of um, your food. I'm teaching you how to do that. Well, transform the energy of the signal that you're sending out. That's saying, I am a giver. I am a giver. Because once you send that signal out, you're going to be receiving back. Yeah. That's that's just like in the biblical text. They, they say, this this woman here that gave from, from her life, she is really giving the most. Yeah. So I want to... I want you to be in that position. Are you at, okay, you at 19.7. Uh oh, you learned how to give up in here. Girl, go ahead on. You're going to learn how to give today. She said, I'm going to learn how to give today. I'm going to change that frequency today. Okay, A's. A's, we'll start with you. We'll start with you. Are we there yet? We're 21 over here. We're 20. Oh, yeah, we made it. We made it. We made it. I'm happy for you. So here we go. A's. First of all, personality of an A. The personality of an A. These are some nice, 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 nice people. Now A's. Uh, a lot of the A's are like really, really like um, humble people. They got a lot of Asian A's, you know. A's are really humble people in my opinion you know the ones that I kind of communicate with that are A's that are like black people they are really really humble when I go to my Asian market the international market when I go up in there because I frequent that market all of the time and when they see me coming they how are you <laughs> and I'll be like you know I do like that back at them they are so humble they are so beautiful, peaceful people, like, right? Even my moderator here, Miss um, Being Soul, she's an A. Beautiful person. I never met her before in my physical reality, but she helps me so much. Miss uh, Grateful, beautiful soul. You could tell, Miss, Miss Coach Renee, beautiful soul. But don't get it twisted now. Just like them Asians are beautiful people and humble people, you know, them A's have that other side. But that's with any other group. You, you upset them and they come after you you go up in the asian market talk about you don't have no money you no pay you no pay they ready to come with the broom the the the, the buddhist thing monk or something to hit you upside your head because you ain't got no money because when you cross the a <laughs> even though they're beautiful people have these humble personalities they coming after your butt you go up in that nail shop talking about you getting your refill and you don't have your refill money all the little asian people coming to get you Cause um they they nice to you in the beginning they be like um oh hey my friend how are you you no work today my friend and all of this and that well you tell them you ain't got no money you tell them hey you ain't got no money which happens to be a bunch of Asians <laughs> you tell them you ain't got no money mm -hmm. you gonna find out you gonna find out cause all of them coming for you that's personality wise they're really really humble sweet sweet souls working out though. They're not, they're not physically strength, you know, equipped for no endurance and all of this here, you know. They would rather a, lo a nice little walk, you know. They like yoga and mindfulness and meditation. They would like to relax by the pool. They like the Tibetan bowls. You know, they're so graceful, period. <laughs> there you go. That, that, that's one right there. Coach Renee. They... They're so graceful. So you're not, you're not really going to find them much with that physical strength and endurance. And I'm telling you this here because of the simple fact that they are opposite of the O. You got the O, the leader of all the blood types, right? The physical strength and endurance, one I was talking to first. Now we're going opposite. And so since we're going opposite, they're, they're, the A's, they, no, they, they, they want to ride the bike, you know, walk, sit in the sun mindfulness like right 
<laughs> they, just like the rest of us, have a certain area in the body that caused them problems. And so here we go. The O's. Remember we talk about the O's? The O's problems was up here. Thyroid, ulcer, right up in here, right? A is opposite of O. A problem down here. Stomach. Stomach. These are the people that end up with stomach cancers. Yeah. Because they're opposite of O. Remember O? No gym and treadmill. <laughs> Remember O? Yeah, the gut. There you go. The gut. Remember O had the highest amount of the hydrochloric acid that there was? Oh my God, wow. That's all me. I'm talking to you, UA. I'm talking to you. Yeah, my A son will get sick with a hard basketball workout. Mm-hmm. Because they body not equipped for all of that. And these, these coaches and these 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 fathers that didn't live their dream and then had maybe manifested an A and they hard on that A and they looking at the A like he a failure. No, he just an A and you might be another blood type. No, he ain't no failure, nothing. He he right for his blood type. He right. He right on on point. <laughs> yeah. Yep. His old dad was the coach. Yes indeed. Yeah, that's correct. Stomach problems. So Remember I was talking about that O's, they have the most amount of hydrochloric acid in their gut. Well, A's, you don't. You like lacking hydrochloric acid big time. Matter of fact, not on top of that, not only on top of that do you lack the hydrochloric acid. And when I say hydrochloric acid, I need you to know this about yourself, so I'm going to break this thing down. You got your stomach. Let's play, let's play like this here is the inside of your stomach. The wall of the stomach lining for you and for everybody's stomach is going to be a wall that has like sodium bicarbonate. It's a buffer, right? And inside of it going to be acids. Acids is necessary inside of it because the acid is the thing that's breaking down your food to bring it to the Lord in small intestine to expel it out of your body, right? Well, you lack hydrochloric acid. You have the least amount of all blood types up in here. And so being that you lack the hydrochloric acid necessary to break down your food, it is so important for you to eat for your blood type. And if you call yourself being black and saying, no, you just want to eat the soul food like black people, you call to yourself this ease because what I just said earlier was like the Asian type diet. That's your diet. You, you know, you really, naturally, you really a vegetarian and a vegan according to your blood type. According to the blood of your ancestors that was before you, your blood that has memory, leads you to be a vegetarian slash vegan. All right? Yeah. Yeah, you have stomach and you have the hypo in large gland because your stomach so inflamed and it goes to other places. But it started with your stomach. That's the weaker spot for the AIDS. And so with this knowing... If you had a past diet where you was eating meat, there is no highly beneficial meat for your blood type. Not one. Not one. You have neutral meats, but you don't have no high, highly beneficial one. You have neutral meats, and then you have meats that you should avoid. Okay? So we talked about physical fit. You, 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 ain't, you ain't about that life. We talked about, you know, your, your personality, you know, you're a beautiful person. Don't, don't, we can't upset you, though. We can't upset you because you come in for us with a broom or something, though, right? So now we're going to talk about your problem foods. My mom is an A. Yeah, there you go. Mom, mama no queens. Yeah. In some, in some of these A's, they feel it, you know? Some of these A's be like that TikTok that I, um, that I post with a little white girl sitting at the table. They be crying, mommy. Because they they just feel it, just know. And then they don't know why, but just know. I love the animals, I love nature. But also in their gut, that gut is telling them no, this is so against that blood, that blood is telling them no. I'm, it's just so against, it's just this thing don't feel right, All right? So what's triggering inflammation for, um, for the eggs is the inability to break down the animal protein because it's too much. Going back to the fact that they don't have the hydrochloric acid inside of their gut, it's too much. So what happens with their food, being that they don't have enough of acid, is their food sits down in their, in their stomach and it becomes mucus. Now here's the thing about the eggs. 
Their food becomes mucus, which turns into mold. And, you know, this is why they end up with the stomach cancer, for example. Like, right? It turns into mold up in there, but they have a problem getting it out there if they don't know the type of things to help them to get it out of there. On top of that, at night when they sleep, just because of their blood type, they produce extra mucus just sleeping. So the next day, first day in the morning, they're hawking up stuff. First day in the morning, they got, they got, you know, sinus that's got a drain. They got to blow their nose and stuff because they're egg. So if they ate something that was mucus forming the, ne the day before, on top of them just generally, genetically being the egg, there you go. She's like, yep, yeah, yes, ma'am. They hawking up first day in the morning. So I'm going to help you with that. I'm going to help you with that. So when you eat meat, if you're going to still be an A, a hard-headed A, and you keep eating meat, not only are you going to have this mucus production through the roof, but your blood is becoming thicker every time you eat. Because you don't, you should not be eating no pork. Yeah, yeah. You should not be doing pork. You're, but yours is different though. Yours, you see, this person says, I'm like, oh, and I have to do that. Yours is different. Yours got, you, you have hydrochloric acid. <laughs> Naturally. You may have put yours out by your beer and your wheat. But these people don't have any hydrochloric acid actually because they're the opposite of you so they're not meat eaters i'm talking to the non meat eaters. i'm talking to the vegans here the the um the um vegetarians here so you might get hormonal imbalance because of all this mucus you probably have a poor metabolism of saturated fats of saturated fats and bacteria overgrowth because of all of this mucus and so your problems your problem food I told you pork, but really all red meats. You see, you gotta stay away from red meats as an egg. You just, you just got to. You can't break that down. Not with no hydrochloric acid, you can't. You have a bunch of fruits and vegetables and your new protein is gonna be soy protein, just like the Asians that I was speaking of earlier in this, in this particular live. So, even things like that you might think like that are lighter like crab lobster even though they're lighter they are not highly beneficial for you right so red meats beef lamb veal i'm talking about pork organ meat inflammation through the roof hard to digest will sit on you about three days because you don't have hydrochloric acid to break it down and so your blood gets thicker and tackier when you consume distilled liquors, milk products. Milk equals mad mucus for you. Milk is overtime mucus for you. Cow's milk, even oranges, oranges and orange juice because it gets up in your stomach. No. <laughs> oh yeah. Cow milk and oranges get inside of your stomach. And we talk about how we was just talking about with the um, others, blood types, the bacteria overgrowth comes with your cow milk and your oranges, right? Well, your, I'm talking, I'm sorry, your blood thickening comes with the oranges and the cow milk and your meats. The, the inflammation comes with the meat as well. Bacteria overgrowth is coming in from white and sweet potatoes. Because when you consume white and sweet potatoes, they dissolve inside of you and turn into mucus. You got to think about when you eat the food, like pretend, for example, that uh, your stomach, which it is, is a blender. And so when you're eating food or putting food in your blender, what it turns into is mucus. If it's like meat, like, right? Or if it's like potatoes. But when you're eating fruits and vegetables, it has some, some potential of hydrogen up in there. It has a liquid up in there, right? So, with that being said, you should stand clear away from that or those oranges, those heavy meats, those white and sweet potatoes. And because your digestive system is so sensitive, you also need to stand clear away from black pepper. 
Black pepper and cayenne pepper actually irritates the lining of your sensitive digestive system. The type of beans that cause you a bunch of yeast overgrowth is gonna be navy beans, lima beans, and kidney beans. Those beans right there cause bacteria overgrowth inside of your gut, and it's hard for you to digest them, AKA also eliminate them out of your body. So they sit there. They sit there, especially if you are a meat eater, especially if you are a hard head person, like grandma say, a hard head, make a soft face. So I want to share with you some beneficial things that you could do to get rid of these, um, this year mucus production. First and foremost, I will highly suggest you as an A to begin your um, day with key lime or lemon water first thing in the morning. A, key lime or lemon, or lemon. Key lime and lemon water first thing in the morning is gonna help you tackle that over secretion of mucus that you've been dealing with the day before or the night before, right? <laughs> that mucus inside of you needs to be absorbed or eliminated or breaking down so that it can come out via your kidneys. And so the lemon and key limes help your kidneys filter lemon or key, key lime water first thing in the morning um is that's highly highly beneficial for you okay so let's see to help you we're gonna move from meat to soy protein so tofu type items are really, really good for you. Miso soup type items. If you pay attention, really I'm telling you about an Asian diet. Uh, you a vegan slash vegetarian kind of like Asian diet. What them Asians eat? Soy protein. They, they eat their tofu. They eat a ver vast variety of, of fish. So there you go, that's your meat. You have seafood as your meat of choice, but not all seafood. You have seafood for your meat as A's. That is in, intelligent protein choices for you. You have some beans and nuts on the meal plan that's highly beneficial for you. When you drinking, I mean, when you are um, eating your meat and your blood gets it, in order to increase the, or well, kind of like thin out that, um, thin out that blood because you didn't increase inflammation. In order to thin it out, water with lemon or key lime. Pineapple juice. The pineapple juice for you gonna help you thin and out, but also it's gonna help you with your digestive enzymes. You remember I told you you don't have any hydrochloric acid? So the pineapple juice is on your meal plan for you to help replenish your digestive enzymes. That green tea that I was just talking about to the last food group, the green tea on your list too. Because the green tea is gonna help you release bulk bowel aka that um non-beneficial bacteria that imbalance of the microbiome diversity up in here the green teas on your list mega mega antioxidant for you you need that in your life you need your vegetables and your fruit in its rawest form so green teas aid in that because they also are providing your body with with minerals it's on it's on your um highly beneficial food list you on the page four underneath beverages and teas you got your food list you you got you you got to give your food list to prepare yourself for this lifestyle diet so green tea that's going to help you your acceptable oils for your blood type every blood type have highly beneficial oils each blood type have a different but highly beneficial oil that's on your, your um, meal plan too. So your oil that's included, if you get the blood type bundle, you have your oil that's included in your at-home herbal portion on the meal plan. This is available on my website. The link is in the bio if you wasn't here. And so on this particular same list, you have your oil. Your oil is going to help lubricate or soften. This is what your oil is going to do for you. Lubricate or soften this here big mold socket right here. This mold socket right here, your oil gonna lubricate or soften it. And so when you eat or consume your key lime or your lemon, 
it's gonna thin it out. It's gonna make that that, that that dissolve, break that thing down. This is how you get rid of this here mucus sac that you have sitting up here. If you don't, your mucus sac turns into sacs of um, pathogens and parasites. It turns, it turns into to toxins. If you don't, you could escape stomach cancer. I'm not saying that's your end all, but you got to give your body, be a putting it in your mouth, the right things that it needs to clear up this, because this is where the sickness and disease starts in every blood type. The link is in my bio for the meal plan. Sort of the earth pub .org is the website. Let me show you this here right quick and I'll continue talking. Let me show you this right quick and I'll finish talking. The link is in my bio. You don't know your um, blood type, you go to Amazon and get the kit. But this is the blood type meal, uh, meal plan that I'm talking about, the blood type bundle. Sawtobeardpub.org. Write that down in your notes. Sawtobeardpub.org. That way you could go and order your bundle blood type kit after I finish talking about it and you know everything you need to do with your kit. So to increase that that um, diversity inside of your gut, you need your oil, your highly beneficial oil. You need your lemon and pineapple juice or fresh pineapples because you need raw fruits and vegetables. To help to control your microbiome diversity, dandelion, dandelion root, it's gonna help control your di microbiome diversity in your gut. Dandelion root is a little bit bitter. It's a little bit nasty if you ask me. But a trick to dandelion, what you can do is, is you can boil your dandelion root for maybe about two or three minutes. You boil it for like two or three minutes. Let me bring it back to me. You boil it for like two or three minutes on the stove. You boil it and that's gonna take the bitterness away. You can make, matter of fact, on your food list, I put on there already. You can make you a dandelion tea to help you. That's one of the things that'll help you. So that's your problems. Your problematic um, issues, like, right? So I told you the things that you need to consume. More of the soy type foods, soy proteins. I gave you pineapple um, juices to help you with your digestive enzyme. And the dandelion tea is really, really highly beneficial. Hey, Dion. Thank you for being here. Outside of that, you still need to know your fruits and vegetables. Don't go out there while and now and, and, and realize, oh, I did that. I did this one thing, but I still have a plethora of other things that I need to be avoiding that's on the food list. One more thing I'm going to... um share with you all is be very careful with the beans and legumes that's good for you because some of your beans and legumes are really really inflaming you like navy bean kidney bean llama bean tamarind bean garbanzo bean aka chickpea some people as eggs eat little snack chickpea snacks chickpea snacks are inflaming you so to help you out in conclusion is, since you don't have the high, high chloric, hydrochloric acid necessary in the gut, it's so very important that you have the proper sea salts too. Salts help you produce some hydrochloric acid, even if it's for a limited time. So your water should have your proper Celtic salts in there. Your water should have your baking soda in there too. The sodium bicarbonate that we were talking about for the other blood groups. That's your regular drinking spring water I'm talking about. Outside of this water, you should be drinking that highly beneficial tea and the, all of those juices. And it's more than just pineapple juice that's on your list. You can half ass it if you want to, but a whole head make a soft ass. Also, you benefit first thing in the morning with lemon or lime water. Lemon or lime. Because your digestive system is so sensitive, you must stay away from those heavy peppers though. They will have you inflamed. They got going viral, that olive oil, that lemon, and that cayenne pepper trend. You can't tolerate that cayenne pepper. It will mess up your stomach. So be mindful of the trends. Be mindful of your diet. Be mindful and willing to open and explore soy protein. 
Organic soy protein is your friend. Because you come from a bloodline that they ate soy. Mm -hmm. So everybody ain't talking to you when they're talking about stay away from soy. No, 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 no. Not you. Not blood type A. Not you. Okay? <laughs> and I was just doing that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you came on later today. Hey, Miss Grateful. I was talking about you. Yeah, I came on a little, maybe 30 minutes this morning. I had a bunch of weekend orders. So I had to come on late. I was telling these people here today that I don't normally be here this time of night. But Miss Grateful is the lady. We was just talking about the A's. She's the lady that I, we were talking about personalities and how nice or humble the A's are in nature. How beautiful a people based upon personality. This lady is, I, I never met her in the physical. Her and Miss B and So and Coach Renee, they all share this in common and they all A's. They are humble, beautiful souls. But boy, if you... If you pee them off, they coming after you with a broom. <laughs> but they work out or like workouts. They're like these kumbaya, generous people into mindfulness and just want to walk and sit underneath the stars and the sun. They're so peaceful. But just it's, they come from a group or a, a, a bloodline that are like the Asian set of people. And people think maybe Asian people are rude, but no, they're not. They're just a different culture and they don't express themselves the way. Asian people are really nice people, but you go up in that nail shop, like I was telling them, Miss Gray, but you go up in that nail shop and you talk about you ain't got no money to pay for your set. The Asian people gonna get that Buddhist monk or that broom off the wall. You think it's, you think it's something that they, they reverence really holy. They'll take that stuff off the wall and come in and, and hit you with it. You pay now. You don't have no money. You don't pay. And all of them stop doing the nails and all of them come to get you. Y'all don't see them things on live. I ain't lying. But that tells you, <laughs> that tells you about their personality. And they all like that. Your blood has memory. Even when it goes to your personality, your fitness, and the memory of what you put it in your mouth. It's already been done. There is nothing new underneath this sun here. Ain't nothing new. We're the ancestors to win the biblical text. When they're talking about honor, your mother and father, or your days will be long. Ain't they talking about your mama in the room? It's talking about your mother and fathers before you that share that same bloodline. In the biblical text, they always were talking about the blood or mixing and matching. See, we didn't mix and match so much that we have these tainted bloods. That's what these positives are. These bloodlines has been tainted from mixing and matching with certain races, mixing, mixing and matching with certain foods because we're eating the blood of the animals of certain fruits. This is why in the biblical text, they were telling you, don't mix blood, don't eat this because it's unclean for you, for you group of people. Don't marry into this bloodline because of your blood having power. Because of your blood being able to be so powerful that it'll it'll spare you from destruction, just like in um just like in the biblical text when they put the blood around the door seal to protect the um people of Egypt, the Egyptians. It was because of the blood. You gotta remember and catch on to this here. The blood is gonna be the thing that's gonna activate you to your God self, your Christ consciousness, deeper levels of it, opening up your dormant DNA by eating for your blood. It is magical. You're, you're right, damn Skippy. <laughs> yep, it's so true. Okay? What about O negative? O negative is the original. They, they, that's a beautiful thing. And they're rare too. They're rare. Their blood ain't been tainted. They're rare. They're very rare. So that's it in a nutshell for the A's. I told you about your water, the spring water, how to manipulate your water. I told you about your lemons and key limes, and it's really important. You're working out not too strenuous because you, you're just not made up like that. So short walks in the park, sitting underneath the sun, meditation, deep breaths, soft music, that'll get you, that's the best workout. If you want to intensify it from that level, go do brisk walks. Get on the incline on the treadmill, you know, maybe little light weights and things like that. The little cardio classes, things like that. That's where you thrive and that's your lane because guess what? Your food should be working for you. So when you eat, your, when you find on your food list, your highly beneficial fruits and berries, I mean fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds and herbs and spices and all of your seafoods that you can eat. When you find them and you're ready to cook them, remember you need your food in its rawest form. So don't cook your stuff too long. You know how the black people, and I'm black and I get it. We want to smother everything. We want to boil everything, make sure it's tender and all that. That's cool for other blood groups with their meat. For you, you a vegetarian slash um, vegan. 
So you don't need to be really cooking much of anything, but at least three minutes. Just like I was telling you with your dandelion, you steam that sucker, and now you make some. You could make tea with the dandelion water, or you can now add that dandelion into your salad. But your salad itself needs to be in its rawest form. Your onion itself, your yellow and your purple onion, and your dandelion gonna help you with that um that bacteria in your gut. It has to be raw. So if you're gonna maybe bake some fish or whatever, which fish don't take long to cook either, you put your chopped up onions and stuff, your seasons, in that oven to go and cook for your 15 or 20 minutes, however long the fish takes to get done. But you make sure that you put a, the other half of that same onion on the side to make sure you have some crunchy, raw onions. Onions are antifungal. So you need your yellow onion and your purple onion inside of your food you need your cilantro because now you're fooling with fish fish sometimes with the water they'll have heavy metals cilantro it has the ability to remove heavy metals and toxicity out of your body so make sure you have onions as a chopped season yellow and purple then you got your cilantro and then you have your spring water with your sea salt your gray celtic salt to get you some hydrochloric acid which you lack and sodium bicarbonate to get you another antifungal because sodium bicarbonate is an antifungal and it increases the alkalinity in your body this is the colored salt that you need the gray salt because gray salt gives you a higher amount of magnesium salt also to, um, uh, absorbs that mucus that you're um, overproduction overproducing with and i just thought about something else this here is something that you need to add to your herbal potion. So if you get the blood type blund bundle A, this is one of the ingredients that I tell people to add to the herbal potion. Five drops of this. This is called the alchemist oil. It's available on my website. Now let me tell you about this here for you. It is beneficial for you even if you do not get the bundle with this here that you purchased this here and use this here in the morning. Remember how I was telling you that the mucus production from your food comes overnight while you're sleeping? Well, you also produce, even if you eat good foods, you just produce mucus in your sleep. This alchemist oil, if you begin to oil pull, the alchemist oil have a plethora of uses, but if you begin to oil pull with the alchemist oil, your stomach, your tonsils, your lymphatic system, your mucus, that everything that's sitting right up in here on you, you oil pull and it's like all pulling process is designed for you to use a carrier oil plus a herbal substance like this here inside of it that will pull toxins forward. So you'll be pulling that mucus. So when you go to the bathroom in the morning and you're hooking up all this mucus, you need you some alchemist oil inside of a carrier oil to put in your mouth. You swish it around your mouth. You oil pull for five minutes in the morning. Five minutes, at least five minutes. So let me tell you, after you oil pull as an egg, is a regular oil beneficial for you? Yes. Yes. After you oil pull as an egg, you're going to notice your nose is going to start running. You're going to notice that you might want to you know, hawk up. Maybe I shouldn't have made the sound, huh? But you know what I mean? <laughs> You're gonna wanna hawk up something. That means it's working. That's the top, you know, like a detox symptom. It's working. It's breaking up the mucus. <laughs> Great for laughing at me. It's breaking up the mucus in here. It's drawing this here forward so you can spit it out. Hey, Daphne, you spit it out. Oil pulling is for you, A's. Another thing for the A's, your fruit. Great for I'm glad you're here because our uh, ancestors, not the God, God, God ones, but the like great grandma and them ones, they used to do this all the time. They would make little preserves, like, right? One of the um, A's was telling me, asking me rather for something sweet. So another cool thing to do as an A I'm a B and I just did my highly beneficial fruits on this one here. But as an A, when you're looking for sweets, since you, since you, sweets in dairy, you know, 
turn into a high amount of mucus for you. So get you some of these little mason jars here. And you can put your highly beneficial fruit that's on your meal plan list inside of a jar with a little um, water with your beneficial sweetener and let that sucker sit inside of there and allow your fruit to get even more sweeter. These things taste so delicious. And so this is just my beneficial fruits here, my sweetener of choice for my blood type. And then I, in, in different ones, I put one, I just add a little bit of water and it was only about this much of water that I put. Everything else is just fruits, kind of like, kind of like turning to just, just, just turn into a liquid that they are. This much of water. Inside of here, I put water on this one and then I had pineapple juice on one and then I had grape juice on the other one and I just had different type of flavors and you you make it you can put freeze these you can put them in the refrigerator just to let them chill and as that little bit of sugar is connecting with the beneficial sugar both are beneficial the highly beneficial syrup that I put up in here plus the fruit itself get together now this is something sweet now you ain't got to worry about your sweet fix the mold because now you have really really sweet dessert type something really delicious so for those of you A's that have the craving for your ice cream you're really craving it for two reasons and I'm not being ugly one because you're addicted to drugs yes I said it you're addicted to highs high fructose corn syrup is a drug it trips your brain into thinking that you're hungry when you're really really full that's one reason why you're craving sugar as an A Another reason, I'm sorry to tell you, but you got little critters making you want that thing in your gut. And that's okay, because everybody does have a form of bacteria and type and some type of parasites, right? It just becomes havoc when your parasites or your critters, the bad ones, are outweighing the good ones, right? Because we ain't nothing but a bunch of bacteria. You know, everything got bacteria and, and, and parasites, even though the so-called vegans. They, might, they probably act like they're greater than or cleaner than everybody else. But that's oil out like there. That soil is manure. So they full of crap too. Especially if they're eating the wrong foods, right? Parasites and critters like that, that soil. They like lettuce too. Yeah, they like fruit too. Fruit getting worms. I mean, worms getting uh, apples. You know, fruit have that kind of stuff too. So guess what? We ain't nobody better than nobody. You just eat right for your blood type. No matter where you are. So when you eat right for your blood type, and now, now your beneficial bacteria going to win. If you eat right for your blood type, now you got, the only difference is the fact that when you eat right for your blood type, now you got hydrochloric acid breaking up your food. Still probably got parasites going in, but you're able to flush them out. You eat right for your blood type, now you got microbe diversity um, increase up in there. Guess what? You still probably got a little bit of critters up in there, but guess what? Everybody do. You eat right for your blood type, now you got digestive enzymes. So your food not sitting up here. Now three days later, you ain't belching, you still taste or smell or reek of a hot sauce sandwich that you had three days ago because your food is dissolving now. That's the only difference. Everybody have some type of parasite, bacteria. It's a level and it's about what they're putting in to actually increase that thing or keep it neutral or below. That's what we up against. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, greetings. Oh, y'all know each other? Yeah, that's so true. Okay, so that's it in a nutshell for the A's. And you know that, you do that, and you thrive from that. You thrive. You thrive. We did the O's already. Right. Y'all getting this? Y'all getting this? I'm on my last one. I'm type B as well. Yeah. B, um, I just showed you all the um, beneficial fruits um, on the meal plan. The uh, sweetener, agave. Agave. It's on the meal plan. It's on the meal plan. Invest in yourself. Manna bread. Manna bread? Yes, if you can find it. If you can find it, that don't mean Ezekiel bread. That don't mean Ezekiel bread, though. A lot of people get that misconstrued. They have the word manna on Ezekiel bread, but Ezekiel bread is not good for... Any of them blood types, they have something in it for all. Oh, Cause like for me, it be the uh, lentils. They got one with lentils in there. I can't consume that. And you gotta remember when we deal with breads, you gotta tread lightly on that because all of the breads gonna have to have gluten in there. 
gluten, look at the prefix, glue, glue, gluten sticks to the walls of your intestines, preventing minerals from being absorbed. Gluten is the reason why the gut doesn't have the ability to eliminate and absorb waste. Gluten and high fructose corn syrup together is a nightmare waiting to happen. It's that it's the crackhead that's 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 out three or four o'clock in the morning selling TVs. That's what gluten and high fructose corn syrup mixed together do to the body. Because now you have high fructose corn syrup bringing you on a high, tricking you, thinking that you want more of it. And you got gluten, you eat more of it, and now your ability to absorb and eliminate is compromised so you could be wearing glasses. Your stomach right here, your brain, this is a brain, this is why we have gut feelings. This brain going to be connecting with this brain, and both of them going to be off. <laughs> it really is. It really is. And I have to say these little examples like this here because it helped me and it'll help y'all remember. You just own, you just own it high. Which you that, that's what that word is. High. That so this is why. So you think about it. High fructose corn syrup, you're on a high. Then you got gluten. This is why in the middle of the night, people waking up in the middle of the night, just like the crackhead going to tell that TV on the bicycle, riding the bicycle with a TV, and everybody knows that something ain't right with them. Well, that's equivalent to you getting up in the middle of the night saying, Oh, I, I just I just need a bag of lace potato chips and some ice cream. And a pig lip. Oh, I was I couldn't help myself. Yeah. That's not you if you stand next to the crackhead and both of y'all kind of look the same level of weird. <laughs> so why don't you just go to bed? Why don't you just eat right for your blood type? <laughs> Yeah, it'd be the craziest thing, like, last day chef with the pig lip, then you gotta have ice cream on the side. And then an hour later, for after after you eat that snack. It just don't even be making sense. It's like, what? What is wrong with you? <laughs> did you miss B? Yeah, you miss B. B. Yes, you did. Yeah, a type. Okay, I love your accent. I can listen to you speak all day. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, I'm a B as well. What beneficial, sir? Yeah. I, oh, I answered that one already. Let's see. Right. Yeah. Oh, I did all already. Y'all missed the O's. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, she don't see my words. What words? Did I miss them? Uh, did you do O? I did O first. Yes. 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 Sweet and salty. Yeah, I guess that that's what they be going after. Sweet and salty. I don't know. I don't know. But it be the parasite. And it be that high, that high fructose corn syrup that's inside of that, that ice cream. Oh, it's in your ice cream. Trust and believe it's in all of them ice creams. It bring you on a little high and it wake you up at three o'clock in the morning, itching and twitching. And you need some more. So the beautiful thing about eating for your blood type is you no longer have food cravings like that. Like I don't, I don't like, y'all asking about sweetness and stuff. I don't even like um, white sugar. I can't not, not tolerate white sugar. You get your sweetness from your fruit. The most beneficial thing to see in from your fruit, your sweetness from your fruit actually give you energy. That's where you get your strength and energy from. I love fruit. I love, love, love fruit. And even putting my um, beneficial agave up in there, I tasted and I was like, oh my God, this is like sweet, sweet, sweet. I'm not even used to that level of sweet. I only did that because, um, you know, one of my supporters asked about um, a, like a dessert or something sweet. And so I tried that. To help them, but it's gonna take me forever. Yeah, I'll probably be pulling that out of the refrigerator next week. She's still showing people because it's gonna take me forever to eat that because I don't, I don't give up, get off on sweet. I don't have that craving. I don't. What type are you? I'm a B. I'm B balance B. God, it's just B. It's a B. You can remember it like that. Yeah, there you go. Um, okay, yeah. Last but not least, A B. A B. Let's get some likes and we're gonna get to the A B. Let's get to 27,000 likes up in here. And let's get to 20. We could get to 23 over here. And we'll get started for the last blood type of the day. And then I'm gonna be finished running my mouth because I've been talking for a minute. And I am an introvert, yeah. I just love being in a position position to help other people. So let's get them likes up. And we'll go to the ABs. 
I'm done with you, A's. Remember that meat ain't your friend. That red meat, that pork. Find a new love in your soy protein. Find a new love becoming a vegan and a vegetarian with your seafoods that you can eat. I'm thankful for you being here though. Especially you, Miss um, Coach Renee. Thank you, Thank you, Coach Renee, for being here. I'm happy to be in a position to help you. So happy. Miss Daphne, you're welcome. You're so welcome. Yeah, hey Queens, that's you. Thank you for your time and wisdom. Oh yeah, I appreciate you coming through. Thank you so much. You got this, baby. You got this. Oh, you still here? I was wondering. I was like, is she still here? I'm just talking. She um, I, I like visiting your live, and I and I tell you all the time. And now that you're here, you gotta hear this. I have an AT out here, and um, well, close to me now in California. She looks just like you, and so when I first saw you, it felt so refresh refreshing. Like my AT and uh, your energy resonated with that so much. I love what you do and how you help other people. I admire that about you because I'm on like journey and I love being in a position to help other people. And it touches my heart to have you here of all people because you've helped me energetically, you know, and now I'm able to help you. And it's, it goes according to what I be telling these people. It's more best to, blessed to give than it is to receive. And so my cup is just running over and I'm like, I got to tell her everything that she needs to know. And so... That's it in a nutshell. You will thrive over that. Even as a, um, one last thing, I told you that y'all are eating like um, the Asians. So the Asians, they, what they, what they, it was soy and stuff. They do a lot of uh, seaweed. So keep in mind, sea vegetables for you too is really, really good, especially for thyroid type issues. Kelp season is really, really good for you A's as well. This is good for all blood types. So make sure you're getting you something highly beneficial for your thyroid so you could thrive you, you could trump that through mindfulness you got this you got me and i got you <laughs> be blessed babe all right we there yet we had 26 over here let's get up to um 23 over here on goddess just be healthy i need to eat yeah you should you should all right thank you thank you for being here yeah so i got a question do you eat meat Wait, let me flip the cam camera right quick and show you all. I'm going to flip the camera and show you all how to get to my website. Saltoftheearthpub.org is the website. Saltoftheearthpub.org. At the top of the red uh, website is where all of the bundles are. The meal plan. All of the bundles are there at the top of the red of the website. You're looking for the blood type bundle. That's going to be the black, the third black bar that you see on the website. The blood type bundle. Eat for your blood type. Why are we doing this here? Because your blood creates a chemical reaction called lectins. This chemical reaction called lectin causes inflammation. Your blood has memory. Yes, it does. Your blood has memory. It remembers certain foods. It gets activated by certain foods. There is nothing new under the sun. Nothing new. All right, let me flip this back and we're about to get started on the last blood type of them all. Love you back. Love you back. Okay, Miss Grateful, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. So who we have? A B. A B. Let me see you here. Um uh, one thing bad for oh I missed it. <laughs> That's funny. Would one thing you go fix you go fix all your health problems with just one thing? Hmm. I think you should get the list and not not be like that with yourself. Know thyself. That's what it's about. You on the journey getting to know thyself. Because to know thyself is to know God. If I don't see any ABs coming, then I'll just go ahead and. Yeah, so welcome. Good night. I'll end it live if no ABs going to type in a comment that they hear. Because I'm just wondering why these people looking at me. They got 70 over here and they got 20 over here. No ABs? If you don't have no ABs, I'll end it. I was going to go over it, but. 
Mm-hmm. I always look forward to hearing your message. Thank you, Miss Grateful. None? I don't see none over here. I see somebody over here saying Daphne, Daphne saying do B again. I'm going to upload this to my YouTube and then you can look at it over there. How about that? Timmy is one. Natural is your one. Okay. Yep. When you place your order. No. Instantly. Put in the correct email address. And there you have it. There you have it on your phone. Downloadable. Never expires. Okay. Use the 95 and natural. Love you back, babe. Yeah. Um, did I miss something? I just purchased everything off your site for eight. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Can you see my comments? I'm not A B, but I wanna know. Well you wanna know. You got A Bs in your family? <laughs> Who you wanna know? I wanna know why you wanna know. Huh? Why why you wanna know? Tell me why you wanna know, Queens. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and when I look up, by the time I look up, you be then tell me uh, why you want to know. Because I want to know why you want to know. I want to know why you want to know. Alright, ABs. I'm answering first a question from Miss Grateful. Miss Grateful said, Okay, Miss Grateful said, Yeah, she's still here. Wait, I wonder if this will help my food allergies. Oh, well, wonder no more. Yes, yes, this is why you have the allergies because you're getting inflamed because you're not eating for your blood type. I'm wondering if this will help with high blood pressure. Yeah, because it'll bring down the thick, tacky blood. Yeah, and balance the blood because you'll be cleaning out the body. I wonder if this will help my vision. Yeah, because your gut, your stomach is intertwined with your ability to see. Elimination and absorbing is the way of seeing here, but seeing in the physical eyes here, because this gut is connected to this here brain. There's two brains that have to be in alignment. If this one full of crap, this one gonna be full of crap. Everything is connected, everything. So yeah, it all starts with this here. So, I'm here. I'm here there. I don't see. Oh, you saying hello there? Hello back to at you, babe. How you doing? How your mama doing? How your daddy doing? We're about to discuss the ABs. But I thought there was a question. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's um it's neutral. Um uh, grateful. Dragon fruit. Yeah. Yeah, so you could go ahead and have your um dragon fruit if you're still here. Let's see, love you. Okay, love you back, babe. Okay. Yes, okay. Must try again to order. Yeah. Okay, Timmy. Timmy, I'm a, I'm a, I'm 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 waiting. I'm be waiting. You you gotta get right, Timmy. I'm calling you out now. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. All right. So, A B, so if you was paying attention even for that person that said, I just won't know because I'm here. Wait a minute. You ain't answer me. You just, I asked you why you won't know. You ain't tell me. I'm, I'm still waiting on you, queens. <laughs> so, um, AB. AB, you are a collective um, group from your parents, kind of like. So if you was here, you heard me talk about bees. If you if you were here and you heard me talk about A's, that's pretty much who you are. You're A B. You're a collection of A and B. So their intolerances and A's intolerances and to tolerances are similar to yours. Some of B's tolerances and intolerances are similar to yours. So that makes you the A B that you are. 
And being that you right there smack up in the middle, you um, get inflamed a lot because of the AIDS intolerances. Because you kind of like inherited some of them things from them AIDS. But guess what? You got a little, you got a little balance up in there because you kind of like the bees in certain areas too. We, we kind of helped you out. We kind of gave you a little something to eat because without us, <laughs> without being merged with us, life would have been a little kind of like the A life that we just got finished talking about. So here we go. Blood type A, B. <clears throat> Bacteria overgrowth is still common for you. Lectins are still common for you too. You know, that's when you get inflamed from certain foods. And cell signal issues happen with you as well. Stress is a corporate for you <laughs> as well. But stress is a corporate really for everybody. When you get to be stressful, you, you know, you are in an acid range in your body. So the problem foods for you it's a little different now no eggs they could tolerate because chicken chicken for eggs is actually neutral you being an a and b um <laughs> chicken is not neutral for you you should avoid it completely corn kidney beans mung beans garbanzo beans which is something similar to the eggs but here we go with the b stuff that you can't tolerate sesame just like the um, bees you can't tolerate the sesame Se that goes for sesame oil sesame seeds in themselves as well right sunflower seeds lima bean black beans buckwheat those cause your lectin sensitivities the overgrowth tendencies that you're gonna get from your parent as the a that that has these sensitivities is coming from like the oranges Oranges for you too are very sensitive into your gut because they cause bacteria overgrowth. You ain't get that from the bees because guess what? Bees can have orange juice, right? Now, too much of bananas. I wrote in the A's um, meal plan that they could have a little slice of banana if they're not sickly or whatever, but too much of bananas break down into mucus, right? So you pick that up from the A's. Because bees, we could have them. We could have bananas. So, A, B, oranges, bananas, mangoes, <laughs> radishes, Jerusalem artichokes. Those type of things, in certain cheeses too, those type of things cause bacteria overgrowth inside of your gut. When you're dealing with stress, or um, imbalance immune systems, it's coming from you um, consuming coffee and pork. Now, interestingly enough, A's could consume coffee, but not you. It's gonna be stressful um, and wreak havoc in your digestive system, right? Dextrose also creates an immune imbalance within you. So, to counteract all of those sensitivities, to help you get into a, a harmonious state and to build up your immune system turkey turkey actually helps you with your tissue uh, mass you can eat meats not that many but you do have highly beneficial meats on your um the blood plan congratulations to whoever that was that purchased their meal plan to improve your cell signaling this is like when you're your, your cells get a little thick and tacky because you've been sitting up there trying to think that you your parent ain't a, a who can't eat meat <laughs> to consume to to improve in that area of your life when your blood gets thick watermelons 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 will clear out your digestive system and help you with your you know beneficial bacteria in your gut watermelons are really good now i ain't talking about regular watermelon that they got them to store that little bit of seeded thing the little gmo thing no i'm talking about seeded watermelon with the black seed up in there the black seed in it and guess what swallow some of them seeds now, if you the person that kind of likes spitting them out i'm sorry about that my phone ringing because i've been talking too long and my partner saying come on i'm about to wrap up so you've been, you've been um, spitting them out. Well, guess what? Swallow some. Swallow more of them. That seed, 
That seed in your digestive tract will help with your digestion tract being cleaned out. Watermelon are really, really good for you. Watermelon is, is really a, a super fruit, period. I love watermelon. When I eat watermelon, I'll eat the whole watermelon for that day and I don't need to eat nothing else. Because watermelon clean out your digestive system. I'll be full after that. So watermelon is going to improve your... um that thick tacky blood there's a green tea though that's really more powerful on your um, meal plan list a green tea that um is going to clean you out thin your blood they're going to expel mucus that's going to help you with your food tolerances that's going to give you energy it's on the meal plan so if you're interested in that pay attention to your green tea i would suggest every blood type pay attention to your green tea and your oil because your oil won't get past your lipid cooling the beneficial oil for your blood type and your green tea is going to help you with digestive so but i threw in watermelon for you too the imbalances in your microbiome uh the foods that help you with that is going to be mushrooms your mushrooms there are certain mushrooms that you could consume based upon your blood type that's going to help you with the imbalance in your microbiome diversity that means your yeast that means the bacteria that means the the fungus that means the parasites up in here okay and one 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 is my favorite I'll give you um, one of my favorites portobello portobello mushroom and you can fry up a portobello mushroom season it with your highly beneficial herbs and spices and things and man it's beneficial for your microbiome diversity you even have certain cheeses on the meal plan that you could consume that are highly beneficial for you and so being that you are imbalanced, your 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 <laughs> being that you're imbalanced because you pick up some of the traits as a um, B, that's where you get your balance from. Your workout activities is gonna be a little bit more intense versus the A. You know, your other parent, you got A and you got B, which makes you an A B. So you could get more strenuous in your workouts. You could run and jog. You know, you could go hiking for longer periods of time. You could go swimming. Your workout consists of that. Your balance, so you, in your um, fitness too, your fitness and in your personality, all of this has, you have balance traits from your bees. And then you have those traits of where you just want to be a loner. Seasons like where you want to be a loner because you, you have a hierarchy of two blood types that you're mimicking tolerances and intolerances of. Some days you want to do more strenuous things and other days that you want to, you know, chill out. But you're, you're, you're very sociable people because of this here connection of two different types of bloodlines. You're very sociable, outgoing, want to be in, you know, what's going on in the community or what's going on at the social events. You want to be part of that because of your personality and because of how your blood type and your ancestors' memory is towards your blood type is concerned. Your issues, though, now being that you have two different blood types that you're mimicking is going to be both stomach and liver, right? So remember I told you the B's, they still kind of like dealing with the, um, the liver issue and the A's are more like stomach. So you got those two issues, like, right? If you don't eat for your blood type. But it's about balance. And I want to share with you just, um, just a couple of more things before I wrap this thing up and be done. Okay, here we go. A couple of more things that I really think will help you in the, your right now. Some things that you that is really wreaking havoc on your system, in my opinion, the most. Wait, let me get to it. So being that you have merged of both um, blood types A and B, you have some of our intolerances and tolerances. But as far as cheese is, is, is concerned, ice cream, half and half, and American cheese and provolone cheese is something that really has been, especially America, because we're in America and American cheese is kind of like on a lot of things, that, that, that really help produce a lot of mucus in you and really can be very destructive to your digestive system. And so like A's, you should make soy more or less 
um, um, tofu type soy things a part of your diet because now you you kind of you're on that verge where you 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 like them as far as how they eat like Asians and so soy protein being lighter easy digestive digestible by you because you have a little bit less than our the B blood types hydrochloric acid so that's why you have to eat mostly lighter of the food but you could also combine a little bit of dairy and meat that the A's can't and you get that from being part partially a B like blood type and so you do um well with grains but you need to eliminate your wheat consumption wheat because you're picking up a lot of things from from A's you can't tolerate it because of hydrochloric acid but at the same time you think about the B the B, we can't wild out on that wheat either. So you have like a double portion of, of reason why you need to be staying away from wheat. Because both of the bloodlines that you pick up from, they both can't tolerate it. So, um, oatmeal though, oatmeal and millet, those are highly beneficial for you. So you can consume that if you like a heavy eater and you're just coming over to like a new diet and you used to eat a whole bunch of meat, oats, meal, real oats. I'm talking about really are highly beneficial for you and it'll fuel you up, right? As far as um, highly beneficial um, vegetables are concerned, fresh vegetables for you help you with your gut and your liver to prevent them both from being clogged up because you get those weaknesses from A's and B's. But interestingly enough, <laughs> you avoid the ill effect of the tomatoes. The vegetable tomato, like bees, we can't consume tomatoes at all. But you, A, B, and interested in it enough, it does not affect you. So you could actually consume the tomato without an ill effect. You also need to consume your vegetables as fresh as possible because like the A's, you need organic. The A's are like the vegans or vegetarian. You need, and you stem from them. You need organic and freshly grown fruits and vegetables in its purest form. And you want to make sure they're organic to avoid the toxins and stuff so that you won't have to work on an extra load of releasing that from your uh, lymphatic system because that's where the toxins are sent. So growing your own garden, garden will be very beneficial for you because not only is that a, another form of exercise, but you need that choice type of meat, um, fruits and vegetables that are freshly grown. You have a plethora of herbs, a plethora of fruits, plethora of vegetables that you can consume. But as far as, you know, like your parent of the A, you ain't got to worry about the B side for this because we can consume a lot of the spices and herbs of our choices. But as far as your parent from the A, you know how they couldn't consume the um, cayenne peppers because they have this like, sensitive digestive system. What you picked up from them in that area was the black pepper and the red pepper um, flakes. Those will upset your digestive system, but there are other type of um, seasons that'll give you a little kick. Just stay away from black pepper, red pepper flakes, and allspice. Those three will trigger information inside of you. The condiments that you really need to pay attention to are things like vinegar, all types of vinegar. You can't tolerate that. Even though the bees can, the them A's can't really fool with it. Um, so you got vinegar, you got um, Wichita's sauce, you got high fructose corn syrup, you got um, ketchup that's off of your list only because all of the ketchups have vinegar inside of them and you can't tolerate vinegar. You got MSG, you got to pay attention to your mustard too because some of the what mustards have wheat and vinegar inside of them. Pickle, relish, pickle relishes type thing. Then you got to look at your dressings. Your thing, in my opinion, is your condiments that's been messing you up more than anything. 
Your condiments mess you up because you have so much to think about with your condiments. You got to think about whether or not they have, look at salad dressing, for example. You got to think about do they have MSG, a flavoring agent? Do they have um, high fructose corn syrup in there? Do they have uh, maldextrin in there? And most of the time it does. Do they have a tomato in there? Or do they have vinegar in there? Shoot, that's pretty much all of the dressings. So you got to learn how to make your sauces from scratch from your highly beneficial herbs and spices, your oils, and maybe some key lime or maybe some lemon to give it your aesthetic range like a vinegar would. And then you will thrive. Then you won't have problems. The maldextrin though, keep in mind, your maldextrin is showing up in your potato chips. So watch out for your potato chips because they have the additives that I'm talking about. A lot of potato chips will have the uh, maldextrin in there. They'll have the vinegar in there. They'll have dextrose inside of there. And that will cause you to be on fire. So for you, pay attention to your condiments. you got to pay attention to your condiments. That's a, sneak, a sneaky link for you too. Then we're going to go back for you just like the others. All blood types benefit from spring water with sodium bicarbonate and sea salt. All blood types benefit from sea vegetables such as shake seasoning, kelp right here. All blood types, what else over, oh, of course water. And all blood types benefit from key lines and lemon. And because you secrete mucus, not as much as the A's, but your parent, one of your parents is the A blood type, hence AB. Because you have mucus production, you too need to do you some key lime water or some lemon water. Maybe once a day, at least. Maybe in the morning of the day. If you sit it up there and you, you didn't um, wipe out all of your hydrochloric acid or your microbiome diversity ain't in balance, you need that lemon water too, because that means you pretty much equivalent with the A's who have no hydrochloric acid and you stem from that bloodline. Okay? That's causing you your issues. And outside of that, outside of that, you'll be good, but you gotta pay attention to your condiments. Condiments, and I told you everything else. If you were here listening to the others, you have everything because you are just like A and B together. That's what make you who you are. Your ancestors came through based upon that blood, those two bloodlines. <sighs> My health person for A's gives the recipe, then said three times a day, how much is a serving? One serving. So on it, it should be, um, I think, a, a, is it a tablespoon? In the beginning, it's three times a day. Three times a day, keep in mind that that I'm talking about somebody that's sick. Three times a day for somebody that's sick that has, especially an A, that has stomach issue, that, that's, that's, that's right on course. You do the same thing with um, medication three times a day until symptoms get better. So I'm saying three times a day to start and then you weaning yourself off of it because you're lubricated and everything. You're going to start going to the bathroom. You're going to understand why the three times a day was three times a day. Because it's, it's, it's loosening up everything and um, helping you go to the bathroom. Let me look at that right quick. I have it right in front of me. Um, yeah, so I have for the doses for two tablespoons. So what I like to do, like say for example, this was mine. I like to put them in these little containers because I have so many of them. So I will put it in the little container. You could put it, ooh, that's, that's more than that amount. So you could put it, it probably end up being about like this here much, as I do it all the time. So you could put it on your spoon or whatever container you have in it, and you put all, so this is your oil, but you put your doses of the, I believe it's one eighth of a, a teaspoon, I have for the doses of the seasons, the herbs for your blood type, and your highly beneficial um, sweetener for your blood type. When you mix it together, you shake it. Then you download this here. Download, <laughs> digest this here thing by swallowing it three times a day for the first couple of days. You got to get this going into your system. 
You so in the first couple of days, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta burst. We this is what's going on. What you, tr what I'm getting you to do. Why I have you to do it the first week, because we gotta burst through this gallbladder duck. If you got something up in there that's hard, that's calcified, we gotta lubricate that thing. And the only way we lubricate, lubricating it, it, lubricating it is with your healthy oils that's on your beneficial food list. So you gotta lubricate that thing. Once it lubricate, now. It's gonna it's gonna soften it so it can come into the large and small intestines, like right? So if the large and small intestines is full of old fecal hard matter, then we gotta make sure that has enough of lubrication up in there, right? So it can go to the large and small intestines and come out via bowel, bowel movement, right? Not only are we doing that, that ain't it. That ain't it. We gotta lubricate them acids. We got we, we, we got lactic acid, uric acid in them kidneys. We gotta lubricate that uh, adrenal gland. The adrenal gland got to be lubricated enough so that if you had thick, tacky blood, aka blood pressure, it's going to bring that pressure down and allow them acids to start coming out, in, you know, to the kidneys. Lubricated enough and drinking water enough to now you go into the restroom to urinate it out. So we got to do all of that. That's why you got to do it three times a day because things are going to be coming out of urine and things are going to be coming out of bowel. We gotta get that stuff out. Urine gonna be a little bit more yellow, bowel gonna be a little bit more darker. The yellow in the urine saying that the kidneys are finally working and stuff is expelling. The sediments in that water, in that toilet at the bottom of that water, is gonna show you that you have sediments coming out because it's gonna be darker and a little cloudy looking. The bowel movement might look like you didn't eat sesame seed, even though you shouldn't be fooling with no sesame seed. You should, you gonna be looking like you ate sesame seed or that you had some tomatoes, right? The tomato look in your bowel is gonna be like flukes, parasites is what I'm talking about here. You might see the real swiggity looking worm if you had big, large adult worms inside of you dead in your bowel. You might see the sesame seed look because the sesame seed look, even though you didn't eat no sesame seeds, is gonna be those eggs and that larva that the parasites try to, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that those parasites try to secrete when you was killing them. Because remember, I tell you, they it go in life cycles and they try to release when you sit up there and try to kill them. They be like, oh no, I gotta make a baby, I'm dying out. Let me get the next generation, kind of like your kitchen gnats. So yeah, that's the right doses, that's the right time. By the end of the week, you're gonna, you're gonna know that you're gonna see bowel movement increase. You're gonna start feeling lighter. Your pressure is gonna go down and then you could cut back. And then you just start eating right for your blood type. And then the foods that you're eating now, right for your blood type, they're gonna help you constantly have that, that micro di microbiome diversity, increase the digestive enzymes in your gut, increase your hydrochloric acid and so forth. My website address, www.sortofyearthpub.org. The link is in my bio. I'm live every day, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Mountain Time. So right now it's 6.55 my time. Just so you know what my mountain time is. 6.55 p.m. out here in Arizona. So 10 a.m. my time. I'll be live if you have any questions, need any other support. You know, this is a lifestyle, but I create this community of people, you know, like-minded people doing like-minded things because it's time to get off the sickness frequency and evolve to health and wellness. And this is the way, the doc your doctor ain't gonna save you. They said your medication. You gotta save you. Now I'm giving you the tools to do that thing, to save yourself. You could come up in here and you could just listen to the live and you could take the note and you could miss out on your highly beneficial fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds and herbs and spices and condiments and meats and seafoods and everything else that's on that list if you want to. But like I said countless times on this live, Grandma say, a hard head make a soft ass. Now you can do that in your life. You're God creating your reality. But if I were you, based upon what I know and the research I've done in over 10 years as a herbalist, as a healer and saving myself, if I were you, just like you sat here and listened to me all of this time, you know I know what I'm talking about. If I were you, I would equip myself with my meal plan. Because there are some things on that meal plan. I'm giving you some things here, but there are some powerful juices on that meal plan. There's some powerful herbs on that meal plan. There's some powerful things that you need to know about your blood type on that meal plan. There's a list of beneficial foods and there's more 
things that you need to be avoiding on that meal plan. Now sleep on yourself if you want to and experience half ass sickness or half ass wellness if you want to. I'm just a deliverer of the message. This is just my passion. So you're going to probably run across me again, but you should be empowering yourself, equipping yourself with what you need to make this a lifestyle and it should be readily available on your phone, downloadable, because you took, you got, you wanted to get to know yourself. You put yourself first. You sent out a signal that, oh, I love myself. Oh, I want to be healthier. And I'm just helping you get to that frequency. Okay? <laughs> you are so welcome. What about turmeric and ginger? Yeah. Yeah, I can be E.T. Moss. Um, everybody really could eat sea moss. Mm, I wouldn't suggest you um, participate in the sea moss the, right now, to be honest with you. But yeah, everybody could eat sea moss. Sea moss is highly beneficial for all blood type. Anybody asking or any other choice, particular questions about their blood type? Get the meal plan. Equip yourself. I spend my time making it for you. For you to purchase it and you to be empowered. For you to have it. Get it. It's time for you to get to know yourself for yourself. All right. Um, for healing, it's okay to do the potion for two weeks. For the first week, I would say three, three times a day for the first week and then cut it down to maybe twice, you know? Yeah. Just cut down to like morning and night, but yeah. But then after that, guess what? I, i I don't have any sicknesses and disease, none at all. And I use that herbal potion for the bees all the time. I, I use it on my salads. In the morning, this morning, I woke up and, and, and used it. So this is going to be your go-to. You know how the people be talking about the end of the world? You know, you got to have a kid because doctor's office and medical industry ain't going to have nothing, to, you know, all that. With that, you need to know that for that time because you ain't going to be able to get to the doctor. If you believe in that kind of thing, you need to know that. That is your at home herbal kit for your blood type you take it on your salad when you feel like a little stiffiness or whatever that's gonna bring you back bring you back to your be balanced place of being okay so you can't you can't get that wrong you know just just be in balance with it you know after your three day times a day for the first week cut back do morning and night and then you carry on with it and then you could go to one time but then you could go back up to two times but if you get sick you can go back up to three times you see what i'm saying you can't get it wrong because these things are working for you and then the beautiful thing and i'm gonna have to get out of here because y'all know this is my passion and i keep going on over, over and over and i got that phone call and then i gotta go but the beautiful thing, <laughs> the beautiful thing i love what i do the beautiful thing is that when you take herbs Ain't no, ain't like no rock that you got from the doctor's office that if you take too much of the rock, then now your kidney and your liver are hurting. Your body is infinite intelligence. Your blood has memory. And so when you're taking herbs and things like this here, your blood remember this thing. You take too much of it and guess what's going to happen? You're going to urinate it out. It's going to be like, oh, we got enough of that. Get rid of that. We have enough. It ain't going to cause you any harm. It's not. You can't go wrong with herbs and fruits and vegetables for the healing of the nations. You cannot go wrong with that. Because it's in alignment with your blood type. And it is infinite intelligence. Just like lemons and key limes, for example. They're aesthetic. This is how cold. I think this is so impressive. I could talk about this forever. But I'm about to go because I'm going to get in, in trouble if I don't go. <laughs> Do you you would think that um, that um, this is so cool when you begin to study it. Because like lemons and key limes, they're aesthetic in your mouth. We so cold with transforming energy that our stomach even choke knows how to transform energy. It's acidic in the mouth, it's acidic in the esophagus right here in this area. But then when it gets up in the stomach, lemon and key lines, it transforms into something alkaline. I think that's so impressive. So now that transformation of energy, the alkalinity in your gut, now done turned it over and now it is an alkaline substance. It started off as an aesthetic thing. This is why it's cool if you're going to drink a lot of key limes and lemon to have a straw so it can bypass your teeth so that it don't take the enamel off of your teeth because it's aesthetic in your mouth. And your saliva is supposed to be alkaline, but it going down to acetic rink is actually, it actually pull off. If you do too, too, too much of it, it'll pull the enamel off, enamel off of your teeth. It can cause you a cavity if you drink too much of it without a straw. That's why I encourage you to use a straw, but you get that thing up in here 
and the ass is from the key lime, the ass is from the lemon, will clear up your gut and get rid of that darn mucus and it'll leave behind an alkaline ash. An alkaline ash for your large and small intestines. And guess what? You need an alkaline ash in your gut. Why do you need that? So that it can release things. Because sickness and disease cannot live in this alkaline environment that I'm helping you to create in your gut. Now, it ain't thick, tacky, hard stool or bowel. Now that alkaline substance is like almost like a saline solution that you done put inside of your gut. And now you're able to use the bathroom and you ain't got to hold on to the, to the shower curtain for help calling on mercy because you constipated. Nope, you just sit there and bloop, bloop, you're done. You're done. All right, clean up your gut, clean up your life. I gotta get up out of here. <laughs> you too cute. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I truly appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What about, okay, I can answer that. Okay, did I get everybody? So, are you on nights now? Nope, I ain't on no nights. Nope, ain't me no, no nights. Mm -mm. I don't do this. This is my, I ain't gonna say my last, but I had a lot of weekend orders. That's how I ended up on nights. I ain't doing this. I ain't doing this because the night crew is different from the morning crew. Uh-uh. I like the morning. Okay, I got to go, y'all. I got to go. I've been on here too long. I got to go. Y'all be blessed. Remember your God and physical reality. You can be doing have anything that you put your mind to. Okay? Okay.